to Pittsburgh for his birthday, six hundred and seventy eight dollars. Yep. You wouldn't joke it's expensive as fuck. I wasn't joking. But I why, told you it'd be twelve hundred. But, but you could fly from Pittsburgh to Miami for sixty bucks. Right, because that's a tourist destination, right? Chicago nobody's coming to Chicago. no nobody in their right mind wants to come to fucking Chicago. Right. Well even from here to Colorado, it's still only like seventy dollars, eighty dollars. Right. That's but crazy. nobody in their right mind wants to go to fucking Colorado either. Like I, want to go to I don't know. It's beautiful. No, look, don't get me it, wrong. It's the bulk. It's the bulk of tickets that you can that, look. You can get more people to buy tickets to Florida, and you could discount those because more people are going to Florida, right? Yeah. However, nobody goes to Bloomington. Nobody goes to fucking Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. unless it's business or unless you live live in the state, nobody. Nobody's fucking. I'm vacationing in Pittsburgh. I'm vacationing in Bloomington. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody goes on vacation in Bloomington, I'm Illinois. Going to Pittsburgh nowadays. I don't know why. But... Uh, yeah, but. But th those are dumb people. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> those are fucking dumb asses. Pittsburgh's like Philly. Like, Philly's horrible. Philly's fucking horrible. Pittsburgh is horrible. It's dirty there, too. I like Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. But well, we are live, guys. Oh, Br oh Break God. Room Podcast. What's up? We What's got up? DJA. We got Coley Co. Looking up flights. We got Proform Eater. <laughs> okay, so from from Pittsburgh to Cali, round trip fifty six dollars for his birthday. Yeah, to Cali. Yeah, the hell going to LAX. Cali? What do you mean? What do we want to go to Cali for? We got to get a go B Oh, I'm just saying in general. So I'm just I'm just saying because it's crazy. It's crazy to catch a flight from here to Chicago, seven hundred dollars. How much would it cost Kevin to get to uh, Vegas? Why are we doing this? Why Vegas, man? Vegas, Vegas is so man. nasty. You ever been there? It's amazing. No, and I don't exactly. like. I have That's no why. intentions. So how you know it's nasty? No. You ain't never been there. That shit was fire. From the entertainment, for adults, is amazing, and that's not even, no gambling involved. No gambling involved. Like literally, as soon as you get there, you get free weed. Literally, you, get, you go to a dispensary with an Uber. If an Uber takes you to get to a dispensary, they give you a free gram just because the Uber brought you. That's how you do it. The first, you. first time any dispensary you go into Cali, you get free weed, too. Okay, so for you to get to Las Vegas on his birthday it would be $111. See? That's, what I'm that's talking not about. bad. I could do that. Yeah, Vegas. Well, let's go to Vegas. Just, hang out for like just a weekend, bro. Even if we don't, we don't have to gamble, we can just go hang out, walk the strip at night smoking blunts, just chilling on the strip, taking pictures. I'd, I'd I'd rather I'd rather meet in Colorado. I'd rather look, look, listen. I'd rather meet in Colorado, go camping, and eat an ounce of mushrooms. Oh, but I'm, that's I'm, just me. Like that's the difference. No, you cool. know what I mean? Like that's the difference. That shit is boring to me. I just went camping. Yeah, man. Like I don't I don't want to walk the strip, be surrounded by fucking a bunch of pimps and hoes and I trying see, to sell I me pussy and shit. As long as I got a, a, a I like no heated or pimps. I just saw other dudes like me riding around getting stoned. Fucking one day, listen, dudes were. The dude and his chick were on little fucking motorized scooters. Dude had a blood in his mouth, a fucking little, little Luberita thing. Yo, this motherfucker was laughing so loud. I was so jealous, bro. I was like, yo, that is fucking living to me. Like, that's what this we was doing in Yeah, that's good. Man. He just riding around like cops. It's, it's completely legal, of course. You know what I mean, so like, there's people everywhere, just like street vendors and, and like fucking, it was just fun, bro. It's just, it, it just lit. That's for a weekend. Go yeah, to the bars. Just, That's how it like, was in Cali. Let's go hang out. Rent just, them beach just bikes and just drive shit. around and smoke weed. Because eventually that. Vegas is going to I be feel good. it, man. But you know, you know, when we lose inhibitions, when we get so drunk, like you remember that week that we spent in West Virginia together, yeah, it right? Fun. It was fun, but it was entirely too much uh, alcohol involved. You know what I mean? Like I was a mess. You know what I've what never mean? met at such a weekend. Too much, Too much alcohol. alcohol. Nah, I'm a drinker. We were drinking Everclear. We were drinking Moonshine in West Virginia. Moonshine. Oh, I can imagine y'all making Ever, that shit down there. Everclear, Everclear, fucking Everclear. Uh, tequila. We, we were, were drinking everything. Lit. It was. Oh my god, to... man. Look, I'll go anywhere as long as I was it has a hot mess. tub in a pool. I'm down. No, we were no. Look, we were in the middle of West Virginia. We woke up one morning and it was raining and the the water was like on our cheek. And we were just laying in it. That shit was crazy. <laughs> that sounds fun, though. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a blast, man. I, I should have went this year, but I just didn't make 
Oh, last year was great. We had a cabin with, uh, you know, a big, nice cabin and uh, the hot tub out on the deck. It was beautiful. That's where you would catch me at. Catch me outside. Catch her outside. Yeah, we were out there chilling. We were out there, you know, smoking L's on the deck, have the fire pit going at night. The That's whole family reunion. Like, it was. I mean, a beach would be cool. It was beautiful. But, I mean, if we don't got a beach, I will definitely settle for a nice. No, I would. In a hot tub. I, I would rather do a beach. I would rather do like North Carolina or Nags Sarasota. Head or like Siesta Keys Beach. Is See, the listen, most bro, beautiful or Co Coco good. or like Coco Co Coco Beach. Cool, even you know people, what I mean. I need bars. I need excitement. You know? But get a B and B. Get a condo on the beach. Bobby, get a condo on the beach, and we can chill for a week. And we can even do a we can even do a cast from from that condo. Yo, you know what I mean? Like we could even Airbnb with a pool and jacuzzi. Yeah. It is not worth it. You definitely can. You know, no, they have entire beach houses, like entire yeah, condos no, that you can rent out for the week. Like, yeah, like forty five hundred for the week. Mm -hmm. Right, but if I throw, if I throw twelve, Nicole throws twelve, and you throw twelve, we're almost there. Bro, if we do all that, we can literally go to Aruba for fucking all inclusive. Or I'm not trying to get passports and shit. You don't have a passport. I mean, we gotta get. I don't have a passport oh, yet. Get your life together. You're 47 years old. Okay, what well, U.S. Virgin Islands? Yo, I can't fuck you. Hey, you don't need a passport Yo, for you, Puerto bro. Rico. You don't need a passport for U.S. Yo, Virgin bro, Islands. I, wouldn't, I don't want to go to. Well, I guess I do. I How about Guam? Rico. You know, you don't need a passport to go to Guam. That's just so odd to me. Probably because people, so many people go missing there. They don't want traces. Of well, no, it's because we there. America annexed it, just like we annexed everything. But Guam is like the Philippines, and so, you know, it's same thing. You don't need that passport to go there because we own it. We took it. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Plain and simple, America took Guam, took the Philippines, took, you know what I mean? We bullies, took that shit. Big old bullies. Yeah, but but we need them for strategic for strategy, right? We need to be able to see what's going on because Japan tried to kill us at one point. Fuck them if you, assholes. Japan, Japan tried to fucking bomb. Like you remember Pearl Harbor? Mm -hmm. Like Japan tried <laughs> to fucking. Bad. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember. I yeah, you were work, You were work, You were cutting I hair. I remember you were cutting. Yeah. You were cutting hair. Yeah. Yeah. Was there. But no, I mean, Japan tried to kill us at one point, so we're like, we need to have eyes on everything, and so Guam, you're ours. What about that Chinese take air balloon? What was going on with that? The oh shot shit! Down. Yo, yo, three to five years is all we got left before we're at total war with those folks. Yo, they, they Look, are my friend, seriously on some shit. My friend was down in Myrtle Beach and has it all on camera. I shared it on my Facebook. Three to five years. I give you guys three to five years before we're at war with China. Why do you say you guys? You're involved, I too. No, I'll, I, mean, I'll give, I, I mean, I'll give all of us three to five years oh, yeah. before we're at total war with China. And, you know, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but every time you go shopping or you go grocery shopping, Everything's made in buy China. a case of No, buy a case of tuna. Just do it. I Just tuna. do it. it Why? I don't either. I don't either. I love tuna. But eventually, if war ever does come, and there ever is a food shortage, you have 30 cases of tuna in your fucking basement, and it's gold. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just the little things. Just little shit here and there. Because tuna has a shelf life, right? And it'll last forever. So, I don't like tuna either. But I'll eat a tuna sandwich if I'm hungry enough. Oh, you know, I'm with a little, with little miracle. Just be sick. I can't eat any type of no, seafood. No. Yeah, so, I mean, I but need, like, fish, you need to find something steak. that has a shelf life. Or buy canned chicken. Canned chicken. Same I thing. Eat buffalo chicken dip almost every day. I cannot. I well, do love it though. <laughs> then all you would need yeah, is like a, a, a bottle, a bottle of buffalo, a bottle of buffalo sauce, and you got a case of canned chicken. You're straight. Bottle For of buffalo. Two hours, and I'll be hungry again. Of Every of time we go grocery shopping, <laughs> we buy a case of a case of tuna, and I've got like a couple cases of tuna sitting in the basement, Damn. and I don't even touch them. Dude, and guess what? Like sometimes we run out of, of tuna a week. That's how many times I'm gonna sometimes, sometimes we run out of cat food, and I just give her a can of tuna. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, yo, you get that? That's fancy money, cause I ain't giving no cat no tuna. <laughs> but it, when, isn't it cheaper than buying like meow mix or something that you would have to buy for your cat? If you buy your yeah, cat, yeah. Or that a can of tuna, a a case of tuna is like thirty dollars or twenty twenty six dollars, and then a case of cat food is like twenty dollars. Damn! So you buy a case you know like twenty three every every time I go grocery shopping, and I've got like four in my basement right now. So you would probably and that's like just eight cases right now. No, so four cases, eighty. 
like 80 cans. No, probably like 80 cans. Okay, because I That's have a like lot of fucking three tuna. cans of tuna. And I have none. Honestly, I can't. Sometimes I can't afford $20 no. a week or every time. No, no, no I understand. But Different but when you can, can if, I'm a real lifer. when you can, if you can, because if shit does hit the fan and like you remember shit when the Ooh, I got you remember when all the toilet paper was gone and people were clearing the shelves and there was nothing on the shelves? You couldn't find toilet paper. You couldn't find fucking baby food or nothing. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Look, if that were to happen again, you at least have thirty can. You have at least thirty uh, cases of I tuna in your to fucking buy basement. Something other than tuna, like some fruit or something. Chicken? How about canned some chicken? Vegetables. I just say it for the protein and for the oil and for it's good for your brain. Like it's an all around good for the like it really other than coal. But it is really all around good. Cool. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't you know, be able to. You get to I Omega. Know, I, I would probably like. You trying to say you can eat cold and live and survive? Is that what you trying to say, Kev? I'd probably eat her. I... <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> I'd probably get the snacking. Right <laughs> But I'd probably now, get the um, snacking, man. Even if I was starving, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to eat tuna. I would totally be sick. Yo, listen, if you're That's starving, crazy. you will eat tuna. Tuna's fire though. Mix it with a little bit of mayo, so I need a case of mayo also. And some onions. And a case of ma- and <laughs> mustard. Some, yeah, Yo. mustard, onions, little, some pickles, um, eggs. Ooh, eggs. DJA, DJA, DJA. DJ what's eggs. your least favorite food? Um, liver. Yeah, yeah, I can agree. Meat. That's I'm probably up there with. <laughs> my grandma used to make me eat that, that shit, shit in West Virginia. Good. She'd make, I don't like the texture. she mom, would make liver and onions, and I would have to eat it, and I hated every bite. My mom oh used my to make God. liver and onions for my stepdad, and that stuff smelled so bad. I, and he would just sit the there worst. and eat it. I would just look, I'd be like, ugh. But I mean, uh, supposedly that's good for you with that liver king guy and shit. Supposedly eating organs is good for the human body, is what they say. Yo, but I cap, that shit is nasty. They cap, they cap him. He cap as fuck. Well, just like they said, I the told mother, you he was. The mother should eat the placenta after the baby's born. Well, oh, I told wow, y'all yeah, before. We're not getting into that. Today. We're not getting into that because that made me gay. No, let's not do it. Please you remember? Not. I told y'all that yes. shit was weird. You said it smelled so good, I wanted to eat it. <laughs> it smelled like it smelled like breakfast. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, I was I was thrown back. I was taken aback. I was like, no way. Like and it. then I like sniffed again, and I sniffed again, and I was like, oh my god, it's it's it smells appetizing. Like eggs? that's crazy. Well, it's because it's all the same shit. It's meat, bro. Meat is meat. No, it just smelled like day. something I would like. I wanted to, you know. You I was like, damn, I'm a fucking weirdo. I was mad at myself. <laughs> I, I was my upset with myself. Oh. <laughs> Yo, so um, I know we don't talk about no jumper a lot because you don't know none of the characters. But do you remember some big news just happened on that shit? I was just telling Key that she was shocked. But um, remember the the dude, the experimental house phone guy? We were talking about him. He experimented mm. with the trans. Mm. Well, yeah, he, I remember he him. and remember we were just watching. You know, he had his own show first, and Adam joined it, but it was all on his No Jumper network. But oh yeah, know, yeah, yeah, that's we how No that Jumper up. started. We just found that out. House phone yeah. just just stepped away from the whole ep- from the whole show. Him and his his partner, who was there with him, he, he decided to step away with him too, and I was like, "Yo, that's actually big shit though, because that kid has been there from the beginning, man." Yeah, I think about that too with us, and it's like, I think about would you guys step away or would I step away if somebody came to me like, "Yo, we want you and you only," or we want Aaron and Drew, and that's it, like I, or we want Nicole and. Drew and we don't want Aaron and Kevin. I think about what would we do? Like, what would I walk away? Would you walk away? Would we just fucking abandon ship? And I'm like, I don't think we would, man. I really don't think. I don't like. I don't think. I don't think we're hurting so bad for clout that we would that we would do that. You know what I mean? They would have to offer a lot of money for us to even consider anything. Like, if if that was to like happen to me, and I had to do it, like I might branch off for a second until. Until I got my own shit stabilized, mm-hmm. but then y'all would be right there with me. Yeah, I just you know watched. Yeah, I just like, watched Private Parts again, which I watched like a hundred times. Remember okay, with, with uh, Howard Stern, and remember he had to take a moment where he stepped out, went to the New York NBC, and he was like, "Yo, yeah. I'm, I'm established this, and I'm gonna have them f- hire you." And that's what the fuck he did. Yeah. He brought them in, and, and mm-hmm. they started booming. They even fired Robin for yeah, a he did. Shout yeah, out to he the he king. Helped, he's he the king. He is down. the king. He is. That he is the gold. king. Yeah. yeah, but he did the he book. Held his word. He held the his fucking book. Word. I have the book. I have I have the book downstairs, and he is the king, dog. Like, 
we a lot of people forget like when it comes to this shock jock when it comes to this casting when it comes to being a radio dj man 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 howard stern is the fuck as much as people don't like him he is the king period yo but honestly if it wasn't for him and his shock jocking would we be podcasting today Probably not. You feel me? That it's has not, yeah. some kind of right. twist into the world of this what it is, bro. Like, he sat there and he would ca- have conversations outside of the music. He would, like, sit there and have, like, uh, he would have the girls come in and talk about their breasts or whatever the fuck you're talking about. You know what I mean? Because he was talking about crazy. No, he's the king of that stuff. Yeah, that's, he, he, he gave the public what they he wanted. He gave a bitch an orgasm with the speaker. With the speaker, yeah. I Yo. Remember I remember when I was younger, I used to hide watching that from hey, my mom. Keita, where you at? You listening right now? <laughs> Boom. Put the settings out on your phone. Put your ear drop, <laughs> your earbud down low. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if that shit would work. Yo, I hope, I hope your air, I hope your, I hope your fucking AirPods die. Oh damn, that's some hater shit, cuz. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised you guys don't got that thing. What? You know where the girl, the girl's panties got that vibrator in it, and you got the um, remote control. How you know ain't? Oh man, maybe you probably, you guys probably <laughs> yeah. do. How you, how you know he don't? How you know he don't got that do. shit? Because I don't one. know he's never talked about nothing. We got like one. That. We just don't ever actually but, use it. Because I could see you guys being out listen, at the I'm store or something. Shit up, and you but just that be like, it's kind of. And Keita just weird. be like, ah. yes, yeah, uh, I think we're up. leaning towards. I think we we're, we're starting to lean towards. Um, oh, our second, our third topic of the week. Bows. Hey. Oh hell, the mighty asshole. <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. Every print is different. Yes. Oh, gosh. All right, now here. No, uh, what we did want to talk about was uh, one ups cancel. Yeah. Or, oh, but also um, the roast culture, which I'm a fan of roasting. I like to roast. I think it's funny. I love to roast. I love to cook a motherfucker. <laughs> Test out my skills. It's like slap boxing my homies, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, yeah, all right, that was a good one, bitch. Check this out, though. You know what I mean? It's it's like, that's what kind of shit was for, for me. It's kind of like coming up with a dope reverse in a rap or something, you know what I mean? So it's, it's not always negative, even though it sounds negative. It's not disrespect because you have an ultimate respect for each other to where y'all know that it's not here to diminish you. It's just, bro, it's just a battle. It's just like us playing yeah. fucking quarters. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if you, you know guys I mean? just all of a sudden just started talking shit about me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like you see somebody playing basketball, like, bro, listen, I might shove you, but I still love you. You know what I'm saying? I might break your nose, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to slam this ball in your fucking face when I hit it in this hole. But you know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean just because I whip your fucking ass in the game don't mean I don't love you. You know what I mean? But that's yeah, just, I feel that. That's just me. I have a feeling you guys want to make fun of me or something. Go ahead. No. No. Go ahead. Kev's not a big fan of the roast culture. That's the reason. No. So let's you talk about so it. You've changed so much right? since high school. I know. He ain't sharing no more. He's, he has to be yelling noise. Let's talk about it, though. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Because as soon as you slip up, I'm so, roasting you. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean... What what I, what I mean is, you know, let's talk about where we come from and how we grew up and the one up conversations. Right. So I myself, if somebody tells me something like, hey, I was at this concert and it was awesome. Me, myself, I'm going to be like, hey, I was at this concert and it was, it was fucking better. awesome, too. Yeah. Right. Because I'm trying to relate to the person. But in where we grew up. And how we grew up in our culture, the one up culture is there and it's present. It's like always, always we don't know we're that. doing it. But it's we don't know we're doing it. No, what? Like I'm not. I'm not aware that I'm doing it. I'm not conscious that I'm actually doing it. I'm just trying to relate a, a story, right? right? Like, oh, um, I went to this concert. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, shit. I went to this concert and this shit was right. Like, yeah, I feel you. Or, or for instance, you tell somebody like, "Hey, man, my podcast is doing good and it's got this," and they're like, "No, my podcast is better." You know, anything. It's yeah. like, or hey, or hey, I just got this new truck and I'm proud of it. Take a look at it. And they're like, yeah, I just got a new Denali and that shit is 2023. And it's like, dog, you can't just be happy for me. Yeah. Right. You can't just say good, you know, good well, shit. Well, see, what he don't say is that he, he, got that, that he got his that 2023 Denali like seven months ago. It's not new no more. So I already knew about it. Why are you bringing it up to me when I just showed you my yeah, truck? Yeah. It just got yesterday. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. Why can't you just be happy for me, dog? I just I was just trying to celebrate my happiness with that's you. Not, that's not how it is. Everyone got to be better than everyone. Everyone got something to prove. Right, right. And that's what I mean. That's what I mean by that, that culture that we live in. And then it even fast forwards to the roast culture where Aaron 
we talk about, yeah, we like it and we grew up with it. And we grew up capping on each other. And that's true. We did. Right. And that's fun. But when you break it down to its base level and you ask yourself, is that respect? Hey, Kevin. <laughs> it's not, dog. Hey. It's not. It's actually trying to disrespect somebody the most you can and try to make everybody in the room laugh at that person. We want to know something? That's your that's mom, not your friend. Listen, you want to know something? <laughs> your mama's so fat, that's why her car got stretch marks. Oh! <laughs> like, she tried to roast. <laughs> that's one of Nico's, no, that's, that's, one of, that's right. one of Nico's favorite lines that he'd be saying. <laughs> wow, you said the car got stretch marks, so that's a good one. Like, right, right. That's kinship. But what, but what I'm saying is, is it, it, builds a, it builds a basis of disrespect going forward. Hmm. You're just going to let me cap on your it mama doesn't, like that? He doesn't know how to roast. It so doesn't, like no, no, it, but it doesn't build a basis of respect it's not and i look back and i think of all the times i told somebody they look like a fucking ashy rattlesnake or they look like a a, a gerbil with down syndrome and i'm like that was fucking horrible for me to say you know what i mean and Aww. yeah yeah were, yeah who you cares were, you were horrible in high school you were mean I don't, I don't yeah know. i was man yeah, see i respect but i was like i'm that's, not afraid to hurt a motherfucker's feelings but that's so funny. crazy though because like a lot of people Oh, there's this one story. I don't remember her name. I think her name was Melanie. She was on our basketball team. She said that she was like so scared of me in high school that, you know, Sharon was like the block, yeah. you know, she said she was so scared of me in high school. If she see me coming down the hallway and if her class was right there, she would turn around and like walk all the way around the hallway. But I like, I wasn't like mean in high school or nothing like that. Mm -mm. So I don't you were intimidating, though. You were kind of intimidating to people. Well, that's what she said. But I don't understand why, though. Like, why? I'm a very nice person. I don't know. Maybe because of the friends that you had or the circle that you had surrounding you. Maybe. Now, Kev, can I ask you something? Why are we so worried about um, the respect that we have for every single person? Like, just because you roast me doesn't make me feel like you're you're disrespecting me. No, no, no. I mean, it starts with us early in, like, fifth, sixth, seventh grade. And what I mean is, is it's, like, in public and you're trying to make somebody feel less than in front of a crowd to make yourself seem more witty or better that shit is trash that's that's to me that's like that's that's that doesn't build a basis of respect for our kids and that's what i mean when we're starting early like me and you can roast each other we're adults we're friends we're best friends but what i'm saying is is it, it, it will be friends tomorrow but what i'm saying is for a fifth or sixth grader who doesn't have the right shoes on because their fucking parents are poor mm -hmm. and you tell this kid that he's a fucking less than because his parents are poor and he goes home and he feels like shit because he doesn't have a pair of fucking Jordans on. That's what I'm talking about. That roast culture is not building our kids up. It's teaching them to be disrespectful. It's teaching them to be okay with disrespecting another person. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? We'll see. Do we want our kids to be gay? Like, do we want them to hold hands and like fucking sing songs on a walk to school and shit? Try to boost each other's. No, like, no, but we want them to be respectful. Bro. I want them to be respectful. The police ain't respectful. The streets ain't respectful. Man, fuck the police. My job fuck ain't the police and fuck the streets. The world ain't respectful. Fuck everybody else. You fuck everybody else. Softened. If you don't have a moral code, if you don't have a moral or ethical code that you stick to, who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm a man with fucking balls. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have them balls. Okay, yeah, then that's all you world. got. Then that's all the fuck you got is balls. That's all world. you fucking got. In if you world. don't have no morals or ethics, well, listen, then all you got where, is where balls. That, that, whole, that whole culture of roasting. That started off as a defense mechanism to get the bully talking. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Sure, like, sure. Like, so when you sure. stand in a room with fucking, you know, a bunch of sixth graders and you a fourth grader, and they like, oh, look at this poor kid's dickies. Oh, look at this poor kid's this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, yeah. shacks from like, Walmart. Like, you know, at first you're like, yeah, I'll take that shit. Right. You go home, you think about it. You know what I'm saying? You come back like. Motherfucker wearing like, kangaroos. Yeah, that's, that's, why your, that's why your forehead looked like your daddy shaved you, you know, when he was drunk or something. You know what I mean? Or, or look at that lineup, man. Yeah, it is. One eyed, one legged mom. You know what I mean? You guys it is. That's valid. Something? That's totally valid. You know, if you go but, on, if you go on Walmart's website and uh, type in Jordans, Walmart actually sells Jordans. Yeah. Oh wow, they sell polo now too. They sell Ralph Lauren. Well, I, bought, I bought a whole bunch of shirts. Well, but their Jordans on, are like so at it. The website sells things that are outside of Walmart. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they they literally sell anything. I can sell something off my website. And get Walmart to sell it. You know what I mean? Shit, I got like four but polo I never, shirts. I never knew with that. The, but yeah, if you go in yeah, and, either, Walmart I'll... and type in the search and type in Jordans, I mean, they come up, they're crazy ass expensive. 
But anywho, back to our, our roast business. That's before we were interrupted. Um, <laughs> um, no, see, I, I just I feel like it was just it came from you know like a defense mechanism. Um, and yeah. then eventually, yeah, 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 yeah. after everybody kept on doing it, they were kind of like practicing with each other. You know what I'm saying? It's like, sure. Like, all right, you know, it's like, well, what you got, bro? Because you know, if, the, if you know, the ninth graders come over here, they're gonna tear us up. So what you got, homie? You know what I'm saying? It's like prepping up your team. So it's like I understand that it, it, it was a defense mechanism, and it was really for. Like you said, weird kids, fat kids, kids that didn't fit in, kids that had to create that defense. It's like teaching your kid how to fight. You know I mean? It's like, like yeah, you right. can like tell him like, no, listen, you have to tell him to, right. to this is, you know, what I mean, you have to tell. Well, him some, to kids, speak with your some, words some kids, some kids, yeah, kid some, kids words. Yeah. some kids only have their words. Some kids only have their words to exactly. get by, right? Like, like words, like words are weapons, and some kids only have their words to defend themselves, and they don't use their fists because they don't know how, yeah. and and. It does. It does create a funny motherfucker, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. It does create a comedian. It does create somebody who's very com- com- comedic and very com- comedy-like. But what I mean is for our kids, for them to be out there roasting each other or for me to walk through a store with my son and my, my son to be like, damn, look at his busted down shoes. Yeah. I think it's motivation. It, no, man. No, man. It's disrespect. And I, and I tell my son, and, and I tell my son, and I tell, and I tell my son, you don't know what the fuck that dude's going through. That's true. You should talk about his that. busted down shoes. You should teach your son that. But you know what I mean? Um, we should but, also teach but our unwarranted, kids. But unwarranted, unwarranted though. But unwarranted though, he'll be like, Dad, look at his busted ass. And I'm like, How dare you? So you how, know what how I mean? Would like, you teach your son to, to treat a bully, bullying him. How would that situation? Oh, well, I teach him to punch him in the fucking face. And he does. But, but that's not motivating that bully to stop. <coughs> no, it, no, no, it does. What Bullies aren't used to getting punched in the face. So he's bringing it home to school. No, but bullies aren't used to people standing up to them. Yes. Yeah, right? I'll give you, an, I'll give you, I'll give you a, an example. I used to get beat up walking home every day from school by like Carmone, Gerald. They all used to send their big white boy after me. Right? I, and I don't even know this kid's name, but he was a big ass white boy, and they used to send this cat after me every day. And I used to run home. Iggy one day I fi- <laughs> one day I finally one day I finally decided I'm done running, and I turned around and popped this white boy in his face, and he started fucking crying. Guess what? I was their new white boy. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I always remember. You, you know what being, I mean? Like, rough was it CB? Was, no, no, it wasn't CB. This was a big, tall, dumbass football player. Like he was huge. He was tall and he was big. Like it might have been like Bear or something. Like he was fucking Bear huge, Shirek. dude. He was fucking big, but he used to chase me. I don't even think Bear lived on that side of town. I think Bear lived on the good side of town. But I lived over across the viaduct. You know what I mean? Like on Prindle and shit and you know Sherman. What? You and know shit. he wound up having like something. I don't want to say like a stroke or something, but you know something really bad happened to him a few years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was. Oh, man. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, Yeah, he was going through something. Yeah, he was in the hospital. But no, he was a big ass dude like that. (laughs) And he used to to punk me in front of them every day. And then one day I just got tired of it and I punched him and he fucking started crying. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. And then from that day forward, I was the new dude. Like they never fucked with me again. So that's what I mean. When you do, when you do stand up to a bully, when you do punch them in their teeth or their nose, they're not used to that shit. Yeah, because they're used to people just being scared because yep. of how big they are. Yeah, and half yeah, the time they wind yeah. up being little punks anyway. Yeah, you punch a dude right here, like right under his nose, in his teeth, and his gums. Mm-hmm. Fuck, he's fucking sad. Ouch. <laughs> he's sad, bro. Hell yeah. And and that's what I did. I, as hard as I could, I punched him right here under his nose, like in his gums. His like tooth flew out and shit, and my my shit was bleeding. Yo, we gotta get you a but, cozy, a koozie for your cans. I don't like oh, show. I got one. I Hold on. I don't like to show any brands. I got one. I got one. I don't want nobody to see you drinking your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> your lemon lime soda. Yee, yeah. yee. Yeah. All right. Boy. So let's get into the meat and motherfucking potatoes. What's that say? Uh, Green Gables. It's a bar that I went to out here, out in the middle of nowhere. But it burnt <laughs> down, so I'm glad I bought. I'm glad I picked one up. Remember Bill so Young. Going to talk about... Established 19, 1952, but it burnt down last year. And so it's gone. But I bought this bitch when I was there. I had a pork tenderloin sandwich. This shit was... I don't know if y'all know, out here in the Midwest, they make pork tenderloin sandwiches, and they'll put them on a bun, and the bun doesn't cover the whole thing. It's just a big-ass pork tenderloin <laughs> flattened out. And the bun is just one bun and a couple pickles, and you actually have to eat, like, a whole steak before you get to the bread. 
I wouldn't be shit is crazy that at all. That shit is crazy. It's, it's a Midwest thing, like pork tenderloin sandwiches. Yeah, you can feed four people on that motherfucker. Yeah, I don't be eating pork all like that. I, I eat some bacon. That's about it. But yeah, I like bacon. I'll eat a whole pack. Of I bacon. didn't like sausage. But I don't, want to eat I don't like chops. sausage that much. Me either. I don't eat pork chops or nothing like that. Not until I moved out here. I didn't like sausage growing up in West Virginia, on the East Coast, on the West Coast, but I moved to, I moved to Illinois, and these fucking boys know how to do some sausage, man. Mm-hmm. Even the sausage on the pizza is good. I'm like, damn. Shit is damn. They know how to they know how to do a pig in the Midwest. That's for sure. Jay Z is so ugly. Yeah, my wife's saying I, I agree. I don't disagree with that. I I don't disagree with that. His clever and his yeah. wit and his you know it's his it's hair the cleverness. just makes it worse. Like that picture. Like look at that. Yeah, he needs a fade. Look he needs a lineup. I agree. I don't think he's pretty. He must got a King Kong dong, cause there ain't no way. I don't care how much money he has. Dude, that. No, he, no, he it got don't. Bars. He he. Speaks. No, it's yeah. It's wisdom. It's it's like, it's like a uh, swag, like like original swag, like the cat, the way he carries himself, the way he talks, the way he moves. You, you know what I mean? Like it has nothing very, to do. Like, business, it has nothing. Very. He, it has nothing to do with how he looks. It has nothing to do with how he looks. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like I he said. That. I'm just saying, in my opinion, like, man. which is probably the same opinion, he didn't, opinion of a million other people. The so the closest saying, thing he could be, like he said, the closest thing I could be. He said, there "Ain't no such thing as an ugly billionaire. I'm cute at the least." Like, <laughs> no, he ain't. All right, here we go. We're gonna run through the list. All right. Yeah. Oh, Billboard. I think this is some bullshit. All right. <coughs> I'm going to put it on the screen. Hold on. Of course. Let me get it on the screen for you. Jigga. All right. So, of course, we know who is number one. Yeah. I agree with that. I mean, just consistency and prolific. Uh, prolific. Summer after summer after summer after summer. Like, fucking every summer of my life yeah. growing up, this cat dropped an album. But he could be in a fucking hospice, spitting, mumbling bars, and I would still listen to it. That's just, I'm just that diehard. That cat could be in hospice and be like, Jay-Z's in hospice, drops a new bar from the hospice, and there I am. I'm listening to that shit. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, dude. But that's true Rockefeller fan shit, like 1996 shit, man. All right, first we got Jay-Z. You see that? Got on the screen right there. Billboard top. All right. First, we got Jay Z is number one. Everybody agree that should be number one. I agree. I think Jay Z is hard. Well, we can go through Jay Z songs after this. Number two is Kendrick Lamar. I'm yeah. gonna have That's to disagree. I'm because I'm a, I'm a he, big Kendrick fan, but he's not doesn't. He should be two. in like the top fifteen, but yeah. definitely not number two. I don't think he's top five, but he's close. I think Lil Wayne, I don't even know where he's at on this yeah. list. I haven't looked at it, but Lil Wayne definitely is better than Kendrick Lamar. Kev, what do you think? I I think Eminem should have the number two spot. Oh, yeah, Eminem's okay. definitely better than Kendrick, too. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Kendrick is he is definitely fire, but he's not number two fire. And Eminem and stuff <laughs> of is, all time. And, of Lil, all time. and Lil Wayne been out so much longer than Kendrick, so how yeah, can you even yeah. say Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick got some good work, but... but, Eminem, but no. Yeah. no, Kendrick has great work. He has great work. It's he just... He's fire. It's Take people. It's gonna take people a long time to realize his greatness. Just like Wayne, right? Like no, no. What everybody just thought it was Cash Money nine nine year two thousand. Nobody understood Wayne's greatness at that point. You know what I mean? Even like Nas. nobody understood. So number three is Nas. No, okay, Nas is good, Nas but, is but, fire, not but he's three. not number three fire. And he's top five. He's not Jay. No, he's not top. Five. He's top five. No, he's, he's not. He's not top yeah, he five is. to me either. He's, he's not top five. To I'm, me. Yeah. I'm a big Nas fan, but he's a number nine, maybe. He's number he's five. He would be number five. He's number nine. I think Wayne he and Eminem. He does got bars though. He is good. He's nice. He's Wayne famous. and Eminem should definitely be. So him. number four is Pac. I think that's a, a well deserved spot. I think he should be three. He is. He is fire. You know what's crazy is I remember a time when you didn't like Pac. 
No, of course. I no, I didn't because I was brainwashed okay, was by the Tupac, East Coast Tupac, rap. Tupac's yeah, that like shit was messing all, me, bro, because I like... was a huge Pac fan at the time when you were telling me this. But that's because you came from the Midwest. You didn't grow up where I grew up. You I'm came from up. West Coast, listening to West Coast Hell rap. Yeah, you bro, came from Colorado. Shit, he was the man, right? bro. I remember I grew shit. up listening to Wu-Tang and Biggie yeah, and Nas. Guy, you don't fuck yeah, no. Me. No, if no, we didn't play that shit. I like Tupac and stuff, but um, not to be ignorant, but like... He's been dead for a while, so like. No, and and he was, and, and in this my opinion, of all time. This, this, this is of all time. in my opinion, he was a better actor than he was a rapper. Like he, he was, was a great. A great he went actor. to, dude, he went to ballerina school. Mm-hmm. Literally, he went to acting school. Like he was not from he the was hood. Fire. Dog. Like his best friend was Jada. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like he went to acting and ballerina yeah. school. He, this he, cat was a great yo, he actor. That he never and so he took, he, he took on, he took on that persona. He took on that persona of West Side, like he and he played it well. Mm-hmm. He played a good role. He was an actor, but he also died because of it. He also yeah. died because of it. But his poetry sure. is ultimately what got him put on. Is his creativity? Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you listen to mm-hmm. his words, just like you agree now, that shit was among. I've the, always the yeah, great he's talk, like one of the greatest, yeah. one of the yes. greatest ever. Like top, like yeah. like it would go J M and Tupac. Yeah, and Tupac. that's my you know. Yeah. What I mean? Yo, his his influences on me as a, as a young man, that shit was fucking everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the influence was major. Five, he was revolutionary. Probably, I'm guessing, yes, yeah, sir. There well, go. I would I would say he should have been a little higher, but that's a good spot. I don't know who I would put number two. Maybe Tupac or Eminem. Now Eminem and Tupac are pretty close to me, honestly, because they both have the same amount of influence on me. No, I it was a different, Eminem, like it was a Eminem. different impact though. I think it Eminem was a different had, impact though. It was, it was, but they was also going through different eras in the lives. Of right. the, 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 but what I mean is, Eminem could great. reach the white trash. Eminem touched. Well, yeah, see, because um, Eminem couldn't reach like the hood. You know what I'm saying? Only the no, white but hood. Tupac, look, Tupac. But listen to me, everybody. Tupac couldn't. Re- no, Tupac. Yeah, but still, Tupac didn't reach to the white trash white like Eminem was did. West Side all day, bro. Them white kids was up, braiding their hair, thug life. But you ain't gonna. See no, but hood, but I wasn't. I wasn't. With, with an right. Hat on. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. You ain't, look. I wasn't right. You always knew me to not like Tupac, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you just said, right? Yeah. I wasn't fucking doing none of that shit. But what I mean is, when when Eminem came into the game, he changed things. He opened doors for everybody. You know what I mean? He he literally, yeah. dog. He literally changed the game. Did PZ bang Eminem? Of course, I'm proud. Look, I didn't like that cat when he first started because I was a rapper, right? And I'm like, how dare this motherfucker get on before me? You know what I mean? But no, Eminem. Yeah, Eminem because I'm got bars and he can definitely spit. He got some crazy ass flow. He'd be rapping yeah. all fast. You know what I mean? I like yeah. Eminem. Man, he's one of the nicest to he ever. Is. One of the he nicest to ever do it. I don't like new Eminem, but I love old Eminem. Same, Eminem. same. New Eminem is... I don't like that fast shit, like how he tries to be bone. Like, no, you're yeah, not bone. To, Shut up, dog. something else now. Now, his old shit was original. No, everything has to be so fast. Come along, it's like, dog. He's just trying to you say don't have to He rap. just wants to say the dumbest shit now. He's almost like D12 again. I mean, but... All right, here we go. Number... D12 is nice. They was all right. They had no bars. But, hey, I can get Bizarre probably on a podcast for, like, 100 bucks. Bizarre? <laughs> yeah, right, dog. Yeah, I, swear I think God, Bizarre I might be dead. Time. I think he might have OD'd, nah, bro, dog. he's still alive, but he's just very low on the on the radar. Uh, Six is B.I.G. He is all right. He is not my top. He only had two albums. It's hard to really guess. For him to be number six with only two albums... Yeah, but the flow and the cleverness, right? Like the wittiness was really good. How he used to piece together his shit. No, not like nowhere near big, dog. Well, it's just because the cadence is there. Dog, he used to tell stories. You remember, I got a story to tell? He was hard. Like, dog. Yo, that, that, man, yeah, I know. I was a big Biggie fan. He was one of the first albums I was. Yeah, man, man, I'm telling you, Biggie, Biggie's top 10 for sure. Deserved. Six. I guess the top 10 would suit, suit me, yeah. So I guess six is a, a reasonable spot for me. Because I am a big Biggie fan. I do love Biggie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I still cry every time I see the Biggie movie. Every time. Every time they drive I, in his, I still, his body through the fucking Bronx, bro, or wherever. Yo, and, and everybody I still cry every time I hear I'll be missing you. Yeah. Every time I hear I'll be missing you, I I'll still cry. I think if Biggie and Tupac was, was still around, <sighs> shit would be crazy. All right, now who is number seven? Any guesses? Drake. Wheezy. 
Oh, Wheezy, baby. Wheezy F. Why? You think Drake is above? Wayne. No, I no. I think he's right Ross. next to him. No, I think I, I think Drake should be next then. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we should call like Drew there, there would be right next to each he other. He listens to. He listens, I didn't realize that Drew's um, musical taste is way different than what I thought it would be. Like, he looks like mm-hmm. a little gangster to me. Yeah, he listens to fucking King Von and like like, like the, the cat that you don't even know of, like Chicago rappers, like deep ones that like. We don't, like they ain't mm. nowhere. You know what I mean? Like he, like you have yeah. to look yeah. for them. But like he was playing yeah. some shit. And them like, cats. Like he likes. And them cats, cats will be dead or in jail. Yeah, exactly. He, well, he's talking about the cats that like making songs about real shit they've done. I mean, like the retards. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, Rico, Rico, Rico rappers. Yeah, exactly. Like these cats. They do the same <laughs> what they doing. But to him, he's like, yo, this shit is actually dope because they really talk about real shit they doing. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. But you, but you can hear that shit in older rappers, but it's in code. Yeah, they speak in code. So Lil right? Wayne, well deserved. Let, like, 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 let's talk about how Drake, mm-hmm. how Drake is sitting in a deposition because mm-hmm. he paid fifty thousand to kill what's his name. Fifty thousand. We gonna talk about that in a minute. We are gonna turn that around because I, I saw a little right. bit more info after we talked. So I guess we can talk. Yeah. Because at first I was like, nah, that shit is dumb. It's another conspiracy. But nah, I guess. Yeah. Obviously, there's some smoke. Obviously, it's there's enough some... evidence where they brought it up in court. So, yep. So, I anywho, look up uh, now to Little Wayne. Little Wayne is number seven deserved, or should it be higher or lower? Higher. Think I think it should be higher. I think he should be two or three, in my book. For sure. I think he should be four or five. Four or five. Okay. So five, yeah. Five. No. What do you think? Seven. Two. Oh. No. Two no. or three. Okay. Two or three. Now, three. of course, the man. I think eight's a good spot for Drake. Yeah. Hey, that's a good spot. That's, that's a good spot. spot. I, I agree. Drake's doing totally agree. Well, yeah. Well, he, he earned his spot. He definitely earned his spot. He's got a lot of music out. Yeah. He's been here for 13 he got, years. He, he does have too. bars. I won't yeah, say yeah, he has Doug, bars. What, what we fail to realize is it's been 13 years since So Far Gone. I mean, he's been eating, bro. His mixtape. He hasn't stopped. And he's not stopped. Right. So he's been here not for almost, he's been here for, right. And he's been doing it, man. And so, yeah, yeah, eight's good. On the track right now. Motherfuckers be like, yo, that shit was heat. I mean, he probably has on something. Drake be silly. Drake does. <laughs> Bitches would be like, that shit smells sweet. Hell yeah. Drake right. farted on me. Who is number nine? <laughs> Fart on my chest. Uh-oh. Bitch asked me to shit on her. Bitch asked me to take a shit on her. Da-da-da. Remember that? So, well, obviously, not talking about <laughs> lyrics. Okay, like, I think Snoop is better than Biggie. <laughs> He no. He's got more but, songs. He was more popular. He, like I said, it's hard because they, you know, Biggie and Tupac was gone so quick. You know what I mean? So I think if they would have stuck around longer and did more things, Snoop they would have been. Snoop is a for show rapper. He's like, Snoop is still rapping and still yeah. sounds the same and still sounds good. I don't listen to Snoop now. I don't know. I've always liked him. Even his new stuff. Even the new stuff that he's done recently still sounds good. How you feel it still sounds Man. good. Man. I think Snoop is a businessman. Snoop is smart. Snoop is going to continue to do Snoop. But as far as lyrics go, I think he he deserves the ten spot, like ten, at least top I think ten. Like 12, 14, me, to me. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, like he's not he's, he's like, not a lyricist. He's like LMFAO for me. Bow to the wow. Yeah. O double O G double O G wheezy like, wheezy he's like a party like, rapper, bro. You know what I'm saying. He's more of a no. I mean, I just oh, you yeah. can listen to his lyrics and just know it's more like. Type. It's more like a Dr. Seuss kind of, kind of yeah, rap. You know what I mean? Like it's, or entertainers. You feel me? It's not intricate. It's not intricate. It's not complex. He's just like, like bow. Dr. Wow. Dr. Should, I saw Dr. you. Dr. Dre should have that spot if that's what we're talking about. You know what I mean? No, well, Dr. Dre isn't a rapper to exactly. me. Dr. Dre's a producer. Saying. But to me, Snoop Dogg, he raps, but he's not a, a like. A, I don't think of him as like a rap rapper. You know what I mean? Oh, well, he, he's, he's 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 a, he's a, he's, a, he's a pioneer though of the of the nineties <laughs> hip hop movement. Is, right, I go. mean, when I got that green tape, doggy style. When I got doggy style, you couldn't tell me nothing, dog. Ooh, here we go. This is a shocker. <laughs> Pow. No, she, no, because everybody everybody ghost writes for her. Uh, like, if you like think Drake. she writes her own shit, no. There's but if you no bullshit, Drake ghost writes. Or Drake is a ghostwriter. No, he has a team. He has a team that helps him. I guess Yo, you're right. Dude. Just like Nikki has a team that helps her. But Yo, Nikki has some songs that are fine. We have to think about, though. If you put out so many songs, like, what else can you really think of? They just like, you're going to need help right. from you know somebody. Yeah, inspiration or something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You're going to need somebody no. to help you know what? somebody along the way for something. And they probably something. make it up the rest of the way. 
but yeah. but but look, I can, I can tell you for a fact. And then rap about this, and then with the I can tell you for a fact. I can tell you for a fact. Nobody helped Lauren Hill. That's that was she's... back then, though. Like, no, 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 no. But listen to me. Listen to me. Lauren Hill would eat Nikki's face off. Not facts. That's cap. Bullshit. I don't Bullshit. Think, it's too. I do not think styles. you're crazy. Nikki you're would crazy. Eat Lauren Hill to fucking. Pick. Yeah, if she had some dude to write her a no, fucking verse and give it to her, but that's not even a But Lauren off Hill, top, Lauren just Hill's standing like right rapper, across though. from each other. She's not a rapper. She's the best female rapper ever. Never. She's the best female rapper ever. Ever. And that's where you young bulls are fucking misconstrued. She's not even on my list. But she's not the uh, female. She's dog. When I she think of Lauren Hill, I do not think of a rapper. rapper ever. I don't think of a rapper when I think of Lauren Hill. Yeah, she's definitely not. I think not on she's the list. her music. She, she would like eat all of her any songs. any bitch alive. She, she would sing. eat any yeah, bitch alive, even, even today. She, man, she couldn't take Ice Spice down, son. <laughs> yo, yo, Glorilla, <laughs> Doctor Seuss ass, <laughs> dumbass, Alabama ass. Shut the fuck up. Alien looking baby ass. mama she drama eyes, Lana, eyes, super eyes. Lana. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, no, she was doing that for a skin. Fake ass eyelashes, everything on her face. Shut the fuck up. No. Lauren Hill would eat all these bitches. <laughs> Every Lauren one of these Hill bitches even, today. She ain't barely eating right now. She hurting. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't she ain't showing up for her own shows and shit, bro. No, she yeah, she Damn. Ain't. I'm just saying that's no, my opinion, right? I, I'm, moment, bro, I'm allowed you, to have it. I truly don't feel like Lauren Hill is even in the rap category. She's not a well, singer. And, and that's your opinion. That's your opinion. That's your opinion, dog. So what? How about Erica Badu? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, is she a rapper? Or is she she's a not singer? a rapper. She's not she's a rapper. Not. She's a singer. But she, Erica. Badu Bullshit. Actually Lauren actually songs. raps. Lauren actually raps. So Flipping in the Erica ghetto Badu. on a dirty mattress. Rapper slash actress. You can't hack this. Like songs? she actually fucking she, raps. How many songs does she rap? Dog, go to Fuji's. Go to the Fuji's first album and shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I can't do it. Can't Shut the it. fuck up. The the Fuji's album changed the whole fucking game. Yeah, the Fuji's. And she rapped through yeah. the whole she rapped through the whole fucking thing. Nah, bro, I had that first that she, Fuji's album. She is the best female I rapper heard ever. Her a times. All I heard was Wycliffe and the other cat. That will. We'll, we'll, I know, I know, I know. Will I am rap a little bit? Will I am? No, the not the, will the, I am. Miss, the Miss look the Miss Education of Lauren Hill is one of the best albums to be ever produced ever out of any genre. The miseducation. Go back and do your fucking research before you talk shit on Miss Hill. I don't know, bro. Just, go I'm back and listen to the miseducation of Lauren Hill and just shut your disrespectful, that's, that's, shut your disrespectful <laughs> mouth. Bro, what, shut it down. How are you gonna speak like that? What about the children? <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect. Uh, this no. I can't I'm, just drama. I'm just no, trying to create some drama. I'm just trying to create some drama. You know what I mean? Love it. Yeah, do we come here to pot? Do we come here to shake each other's fucking hands? Right. I don't need you to shake my dick when I piss. We're all friends is what we was talking about right before. I'm just trying to create some drama, <laughs> trying to create some, uh, you know. Nicki Minaj over Lauren Hill. I'm getting a shirt made. And Facts. then, yes. Yo, kiss my dick. All right, There's no way, any dude. Predictions. Where's Beyonce at? She ain't never nah. on this list. She's not a rapper. Whoa. Shut up. Neither is fucking Lauren Hill. Yo. Oh, my God. Yeezy, well, well y'all are so that's very uneducated. Well deserved. Kanye West. Yeezy, Yeezy deserves to be on yeah. the list. What I think he should. Like, he should be in top ten. He's, he's fucking brilliant. Because not only yeah, does he make sure. the beats, he makes a song. Yeah. He makes every aspect of it. every team tongue you hear. He does. He makes everything. He's a modern. He's a modern day Mozart or Yo, Beethoven. Listen, he, like he, he literally. Painted, he'd be. You know what I mean, he'd be a fucking artist in a museum. He probably does. He'd be a. Yeah. He'd be a Picasso, he's but what I mean is genius. like, look, do you think do you think Beethoven or Mozart was a nice guy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you, no, but they didn't ask him. No, they were fucking. Yes, you know I mean? they were eccentric they geniuses. They were like eccentric Kanye, geniuses, well, like, right? Kanye to me is weird as fuck, but he's also like a genius. Right, you know they were I mean? eccentric Kanye? geniuses, and nobody I liked them. Kanye they were fucking. Kanye. Nobody wanted to be around them. I pick Kanye lyrically. Kanye is fire. Not yeah, lyrically, but I mean, a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. Jay-Z I watched it all. Like I watched the whole show. Business person. Fire. Like I give him that. Who? Jay Z. He's like a great business person. Oh no. But he had to learn that. 
Yeah, because he didn't know nothing. Yo, they started I just don't like him as album. a rapper. They were like, yo, this album is so he hard. He had to learn that shit. We need to get it out. Nobody wanted to sign you, so we're going to make our own. Nobody album. wanted to sign him. And Nobody so they made their own made shit. Their own shit off one album. They thought it was that good, and it worked. And it worked. One of the richest people. Look, but the this is, but, but there were, but literally there would be, this cat wouldn't even be without Jigga. Like, this cat wouldn't even be yeah, where yeah. he is without Rock. If it wasn't Jay Z, there would be a, a half of these yeah. artists wouldn't be out here. Yeah. Man, we're having a great cast tonight, y'all. Number Andre three. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hey, three thou. Three thou is good, man. It's a tough one for me because I'm a huge. You remember the love below? You remember speaker box, speaker box, and the love below? Like, man, come on. What was it? Elevators. Weird though. Like, the shit he says elevator? doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, Outkast so has always like, been weird. But I do love all their songs. I love them. I love them. But, I mean, I guess it's kind of like Snoop Dogg to me. Because everybody looks at him like a lyricist, but his lyrics don't mean make, make nothing up to me. It's like, what the fuck is No, but he is a lyricist. Do you remember him on um when he's like, okay, my partner's getting married. Wait, second thought. Ooh. What was it? Ooh. Remember that yeah, shit? That? He, Man, yeah. he was... He was dropping that shit. He's like, hold yeah, on, wait, don't get married. No, he's, a, he's, the altar. he's, like, he's an artist. He is good and a good artist. He's a lyricist, man. Yeah, but, but honestly, yeah. real hindsight, that's that's almost the same thing as autotune, just different something else. You know what I'm saying? But like, but that's his lyrics, real voice. He don't really mean nothing a whole lot sometimes. But, but it's, it's his real voice. It's the way so he what do you mean? It. Well, I mean, I know, I know, but that to, to me that doesn't really make a, a difference. Whether it's his but he's voice. not using auto tune. It's it's organic. It's his is his own voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I thought if you to have me, to, it's what you can make. You know what I'm saying, if I can, you know, get a better yeah. engine and win the race, then I'm gonna get a better engine. All right. Like you like auto-tune, yeah, but auto tune ain't a auto tune in my you opinion ain't a better it engine. You. Just, what is the song good? It sounds good. Huh? Yeah. That's how I feel. I mean, should, I mean, basically they're like. Auto tune is kind of like fake because anyone can go in there and sing. Yeah, it's, it's true. Like I mean, that's I can sing, I can sing like can, a little I, bit, I mean, yeah. but with auto tune, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Like Mariah Carey or something. You feel me? Yeah. yeah I don't know Mariah Carey, but whatever. No, I, I don't. I don't mind auto tune. I don't mind auto tune, but I think it feels more fake. Yeah, I would. I'm saying we'll see because like anybody, of course, like you said, anybody can do auto tune. But not everybody can compose a song. Not everybody can write lyrics. Not everybody can express emotion on a microphone through the passion of their voice. You know what I'm saying? I would be able to. So, exactly. I'm, I'm fucking awesome in so the shower. So let's do this. Come on. Exactly. Take you that same energy. You got downstairs, don't you? I got auto-tune right here. Oh, well, shit. Hook me Everything. up. Yo, this, I get, man, I get Put me some out. lyrics on and let me rap. I'm going to be Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I'm telling you. Listen, we can do anything. We can do anything you put your mind to it. Look at the basement. Literally, anything you put your Look. mind to it. Just for y'all watching, we got a surprise for y'all here in about a week or so. Aaron and I have been working a little extra Her hard. Ass off. A little working a little extra hard. Cold, cold that yes, ass. yes. I was just telling our viewers we about to have a little surprise for them here in a week or so. <coughs> been, oh wow, what's up? We've been busting yeah. our ass here at the crib. The base, man. Whoops. Let us kick the can. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right, but anyway, back Hell to yeah, the list. Have a nice little come up. Back to the list. So, Kevin, next podcast, we're going to be singing what auto-tune. Yeah. <laughs> he told you to say that shit, didn't he? No, that was like, no. Uh-oh, this is Cap to me. See, this is what I just said. I no, just it's said not, because y'all don't know shit about no, hip-hop. Right. Y'all never No, not hip-hop. I know a lot about him, but I don't know about nothing about this funky looking motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Me? Then that's your problem because he's the God MC. Oh, of 1986. That's what his name. What's some right. his, what's some his, his name is, is the God MC. Why is DMX not his right His name here? is. Joe. DMX. Rakim. Yeah, what's what Rakim what songs? has done for hip hop? He got like three songs. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Can't... Okay. But what I'm saying, what Four. he's done Greatest. for hip hop. Because he got three songs. We'll just name one of his popular songs. Like, what's a song that I would know that from him? Got a master plan. Um, I can't think of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that you don't that that, 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 that don't though. push me shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, he, he was hard. I can't lie. No, he was good. He, he did that have rhymes. No, he. No, no, that's not him. That was Grandmaster. I don't say that. That was Grandmaster. I thought so. I didn't think. No, I do give him. I do give him respect because he didn't have um, a lot of people to influence. Him and Eric B. Him and Eric B. Did that fucking one song, the the best hip hop song ever. Look, Rock him and Eric B. It was dope. It was dope. 
It was dope. But is he at number 13? Yeah, I think he I don't should. To I mean, if you want to. I heard like two songs. And like, saying, right. like most cats, song. most cats would put him in the top three because he started this shit, this clever shit. This, 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 like trying to be not just putting words together just to match, but double entendres, triple entendres, where one things mean two and two things mean three. Like he started that shit, where it was clever to put together yeah, something that meant like, more than one thing. Oh, ain't no joke. Yeah, like it, Eric B. And Roy. Yep, ain't no yep. joke. Yeah, yeah, ain't yeah. No you know that song if you heard it. Song, yeah. I'm about to listen to it real quick. You're very quiet. Right? I am excited. <laughs> A lot of cats would say he he is one of the pioneers, and like he really is. Like he's ten years before Snoop. Ten years before Snoop, you know what I mean? So I think he should be higher than where he's at. That's for sure. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't think Snoop should be that high. I think Rakim could have been. No, high, but definitely I never heard that before. All right. I think so. LL should, I think top 10, Pink dog. I won't say top 10, bed. but I think top 20. Because he's very influential. Yeah, I, I, and his songs were... He was amazing. At the time, when he had nobody else. Like, he had a couple of cats that... But he was original. He had his own style. And he was the first cat... First rapper to do a love song, actually. You know uh, that? The, the, the first, the I first rap that. album I ever owned... That song? The first rap album I ever owned was Farmer's Boulevard <laughs> by LL Cool J. That's the first rap album, and I played that shit till it didn't work anymore. Hello, Cool J was that man. What I about like Bone, like top twenty? Oh, they're they're a group though. They're not they're not individual. Who's this? Oh boy, Coley Cole. Dog, dog. If 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 we uh, uh, him, really want to talk about it, him and him and Kendrick should be neck and neck. If he's neck. top five. He's top five. He should have took Kendrick's spot, and Kendrick should be right here at 15. Yeah. I like, mm, I like J. Cole. He should have well, took. No, 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 no. He should not be number two, though. Cole is fire, but he's not number two. He, he should, should be five be... or four. I would, Yeah, I would say top 10, but not, not 15 and not number two. You feel me? Uh, again, though, I just say this because I'm biased, right? I've you met him. I know him. I love his cat. Like I've watched him grow. I met him 13 years ago in Florida, and I, I've just watched him grow into a millionaire. Since. Ever since, just like, uh, uh, uh. like. <laughs> Would you lick his butthole? Negative. That's, that's... Yeah, I always want to ask motherfuckers because I know some cats really be like dick riding, like rappers and shit. Like I remember I Negative. met a cat one time. I met a cat one time. He goes, "Yo, if Tupac was walking down that street right now, I would offer to suck his dick." I'm like, bro. Why? Man, Why? Why? I love that motherfucker so much, dog. I love That's him so much. That's some homo shit. Like, bro, you want to fuck you out wanna here? Be gay for a celebrity like that, dude? Won't even look, want you to look. Look, look, look. To be honest, to be honest with you, J Cole's breath fucking stink. I bet because he's normal. You know what I mean? Like, no, yeah, exactly. Like he just did a fucking forty-five minute show with. You know what I mean? Like, thirsty but I mean, he's hell. just a normal yeah, ass dude. Shit. He tired. He's sweaty. Bro. Yeah. He don't smell the best fly every moment of the day. No, but 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 I mean I don't so say that to diss him, him, but I mean he he's definitely just, could have he's just a normal ass dude. Cole. Cole. I got old Cole. Like yeah, the picture with Cole. me is old Cole. Oh no, you got young Cole, super young Cole. Young Cole, dog. Yeah, this, well, this is like right in between then and now. You know what I mean, but just to watch his watch him grow up and to watch his transformation, uh -oh. his metamorphosis yeah. into who he is. Uh, Scarface, why? Because he's amazing. Are you he kidding me? You ever heard him? You ever seen a man die? Bradley, Bradley, seen... no joke. Yo, dog. yo, that song "Smile" with him and Pac, bro, classic. Bro, classic. never seen a man cry till I saw a man that die. You remember that shit? shit? Yeah. Yes. Choo. Yeah, Scarface. Yeah. Mary Rigor Jane. Mortis starts to set Mary in. Jane He's like the Rigor Mortis. Shit. Mary J. Baby, baby, baby. That's what that shit. Out. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. my God. God what, I wish we hey, could play right now. Them. God, I wish we could play. See, this is the first cat that we talked about that I want to put his music on. 
You know what I mean? Because that's just Yo, a different world. Scarface is a uh, Scarface put Luda on. Did you know that? Nah. But that's Yeah, Scarface is the 16, one who found is the one who found Luda 16, and put dude. Luda on. But but didn't honestly no hate on Scarface, but hasn't Ludacris actually made a bigger impact on rap than Scarface? To be honest. Not a bigger it well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You maybe, maybe, me? yeah, in that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was uh for that genre. Yeah, well, Scarface yeah, was more for that like, genre, but the Ludacris was like more of like a when I think of Ludacris, he's like he more was like the, a happy rapper. Like Scarface is more like in depth, no. like in the hood. Like Scarface Ludacris was Ludacris Ludacris played to the women. Ludacris was a sexual rapper. Yeah. Right? Like he wanted he wanted bed springs and he wanted shit to come. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like he was like the songs and shit. Like Scarface was more like But no, Scarface found him and he's like, This dude is nice and he put Luda on and Luda did good for himself. Yeah. I like Luda though, he's all right. Here we go. My motherfucking dude. Say you a wankster. I can't. 50 Cent. Man, oh, I tell you what. Like go ahead. He's that dude. I like him. And his he music is. isn't bad. I like it. Curtis Jackson is the he man. He is that man. Even though he's an asshole, the way he treats his son, I don't give a fuck. I understand how he feels, but that's your son, bro. You only get so many of them. You can't change that. You better embrace him. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that to my, no. to my, to my seed. You know what I mean? I don't know if I could do that public of me. Tomorrow. Just like what Master P's doing to his seat. I couldn't do that shit. No, he's still standing by his seat, I thought. They, I thought, they, they oh, I thought Master him. P was trying to play Romeo. I thought no, he was they, trying they to play Romeo. Him. No, they squashed him, I'm pretty sure. Because that would have been fucked up. If yeah, Vincent deserves his spot at number 17. All right, we got three That's left. Fair. Three left. That's Any fair. predictions he should on be the last three? 50 should, be 15. 50 should be 15. Yeah, possibly. He should have been higher than Rakim. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> y'all don't know hip hop enough to be talking that shit. Bro, Fifty Cent is way bigger than Rakim ever was. Think oh my god, it. dude! He put more people on than Rakim did too. He created his no, own style. No, of course he did. Of course he did. Of course he did. It was smartphones and fucking internet. Rakim wasn't around during the internet, the bro. World. You know what I mean? Like he, G -E yeah. The, the, the internet was around. The barely. internet. We had when Facebook. We had MySpace. Barely out. We Where had YouTube. I, yeah, well, I had this. I had this on CD form, bro, back in the day. But no, we didn't have. We didn't have Napster, Spotify, fucking Naps, yeah, but, all this shit. No, we didn't have this shit when Rakim was around. If Rakim was, was around and he came out in nineteen ninety fucking nine, he would have did great. He would have did just fine. Ice Cube. Ice Cube's a great rapper. Kevin, I need to pass it to you now. Oh, you just. Oh. <coughs> All right, here we go. I think that's perfect. I think I agree with this one. Ladies 18 is perfect, Bryce. Yeah, Ice Cube. Yeah. Just waking up, got to thank God. That's my dude. Yeah, Ice Cube was nice as fuck. And you know, a lot of people... And Mama cooked this. But, but you, the, no, you wouldn't listen to that. You, you know wouldn't listen to that song basketball. because... But no, you wouldn't listen to that song because he he thanked God. So you know, no, would you would turn that off immediately. You, know, that you would turn that off immediately. Everybody thanks God. It's just worshiping. I'm joking. I'm fucking with you, but you know what I mean. Anytime somebody mentions God, you're fucking not in it. So I turned you off as soon as you said God. No, I'm joking. <laughs> nah. What do you think about Missy? Missy. Tim writes every. <laughs> she don't write her shit. I'm gonna say negative. Tim. This does not deserve no. to be top. She ain't even. Uh, she's not. A, she's not, not top twenty. Nah, nah. A lot of people should have had her spot. A lot. There's no way. I mean, sales wise, of? yeah. Record yeah. sales, like I yeah. mean. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's sales. That's how Billboard does. Okay, so so you mean to tell me with the two albums that Biggie actually put out, none yeah. of these people that have been after him have sold more records than yeah, that's Biggie. That's what I'm talking about. It has to be opinion. Like that's what I'm saying. How do they go? No, 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 no. But seriously, that's what we're telling you. <laughs> no, no, seriously. If you look at the probably, that's probably true, Nicole. That's probably true. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Like, is that how that's they, like, how do they, how they? That's make probably list? true. Yo, ninety or number twenty is. I already know who it is, and it's. I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know enough about him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit that right now. Big I can't see him. Oh, same, same. Enough, three cuts in your eyebrow. That was the first dude to put bars. three cuts in his eyebrow. No, Soldier Boy was bullshit. That's bullshit. That's cat nonsense. 
Did you say soldier? Boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big soldier gonna say that shit. Like that's gonna like, nah, <laughs> <"Yeah." laughs> <"Yeah." laughs> <"Yeah." laughs> hit me. I'm like, did he? You're killing me, boy. Like, <laughs> no, but Jay Jay said in one of his rhymes, like three cuts in your eyebrows, trying to wild out. Like that was Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, Big Jay Daddy kicked Kane it with hard. Kane for a long time. Well, he was the first gangster rapper um, to make deal, wasn't he? He was actually supposed to be Jay Z, but Jay Z kind of took that spot and said, "You know what? You're my big brother. You taught me all this, and now I'm gonna take what you taught me and run with it." Hey. And he offered he offered Big Daddy Kane a spot on Rockefeller, and he declined. As he should have. Why? Why? I would love to be Memphis Bleak or Penny Siegel. Oh, what are you talking Siegel. about? Real quick, why are we talking about this bullshit? So the other day I rewatched State Property. You smoking? State Pro- a, Chain Gang, you baby. Smoking a whole bag of Cox if you think that's better than that Fifty Cent movie. What's you State were, Property? You slow as a motherfucker. Did you watch? Did you watch the first one or the second state, one? The first State. Did property. you watch? The second so, one. Have trash. you watched Paper Soldiers? No. Have you watched Paper Soldiers? About state Property. Oh. Uh, I watched State Property. And State Property. That shit was good. It was, like no, property. it was good. I Because I've seen it before. I rewatched it again just because I saw it on Prime. Um, and I was like, yo, well, well, I'll see exactly what he's talking about. Because I feel yo. like sometimes I like to watch movies as I age. You know what I'm saying? So I can see them differently. And I watched it again. Go back. It was good, but it was not 50 Cent good. Like that That 50 Cent movie was the hardest shit I've seen. No, but, but you have to understand the, the difference, cent, the time. State property. Get Richard Dutch right there. The, yeah, but I'm, the difference in the time made a while ago. Like state property was. Yeah, yeah. when was state property made compared to when that movie was Honestly, made? Honestly, it too? doesn't. I'm... Hold on, hold on. Right, 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 I, got you, I, got you. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I, don't I think know, they man. were both good movies. Like I, I like state property. You like state like property I, better? I've watched that movie a couple oh. times. I've only seen oh. Get Richard Dutch Try like once, I think. Uh-oh, what's going on over in Ken's world? But that's what I'm saying. Like, State Property was... When did State Property come out, and then when did the 50s movie come out? It came out relatively close. Like, like five years away from each other. Really? Because when I think of State Property, I think of, like, early 90s. Is that when no, Richard Dye came out? Because they came out within five years of each other. Yeah. Alexa, yeah, yeah, when yeah, did State did. Property come out? 19, like, 2001, 19, 2000? I got her turned down. She be trying to wake my girl up. All right, I'll be right back. Trying came out in 2003. Okay. Stay property probably like 97. 99. Maybe 2000. There ain't no way. 2002? See, that's what I'm saying. There ain't no way. That's like, what I mean. I guess it is 2023. Well, see, the difference is, is 50 Cent's movie was made by a major motion picture. Um, State property is made by Jay Z yeah. and Dame Dash, and it looked a lot more low budget. Yeah, too. exactly, because they didn't have as much money as fucking right. um, uh, who was it? Paramount or something that made Fifty Cent. So it was just the storyline was created better by better by better storytellers, and they That's had crazy. professional film crews. Right. Which not so, saying that the, the Jay Z one was hard. Too. It was hard. It was definitely dope as so fuck. So you think if State Property had a the State a Property was budget. fake, Fifty Cent was, yeah. was based off a of real and like. Well, I'm sure State Property was real. State property and the 50 Cent movie is still uh, a good a debate because state property was good. It was just not 50 Cent. But, yo, Cole, but I, rec- I they recommend came out. Yeah. They came out one year apart. Yeah, 2002 and 2003. I could have swore that. Okay. Like, but like she I was, was like, like, oh, one's better because it's newer. It's like, no, nah, bro. I could have like, swore like state property came out in like 1990s. Nah. I'm just Say, really that old. I thought it was nice. I, I thought it was 99, 2000, so I was off. Yeah, the quality, see, yeah, yeah, I thought the it quality was. is dope because, like I was telling her, um, that 50 Cent was made by a major <coughs> picture. Uh, that the other one was made by Jay-Z. And Dan yeah. Dash. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I also encourage I encourage any hip-hop head or any hip-hop fan. Like I said, I used to watch Streets as watching on VHS every morning. Yeah, that, was, that was good. In, that the, in, in the VCR. In the VCR before I went to school. And I'd go to school with so, confidence uh, and swagger. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I used to watch Streets as watching. Yeah, I used to watch every morning. Hood I used to, to yeah. Remember Hood to Hood? But no, I do remember that shit. But what I'm saying, if you go back and watch Streets as watching, 
to this day, it's still a good ass flick. Like it's still good. If you go back tomorrow, tomorrow and watch Streets Watching, it's good. Oh shit! Go with the magic cup. I got the magic cup. Oh shit! It's a it, uh, bottomless. Damn. Ooh. She about to get it in. She about to get. She's about to get cursive. We're Wait, about to go come, cursive. How come the only time I drink is when I congregate with y'all? Because you don't I don't know. Just because we all drink. Don't Just because we're all drinking. Like, I'm serious. Like, my Yo, what's up, really Yo so everything boring. we do is productive, though. That's Kev. I like y'all are my only to... friends. I like yeah. to be productive. Y'all are my only friends. <laughs> nah, shut right. the fuck up, man. We just only want you to talk to. I mean, you have other friends. No, but you, you know what I mean. No, I have friends, but I don't talk to them as much as I talk to y'all. Yo, I haven't sw- I haven't been switching the cameras around just because we I got everybody on the same screen. It's yeah, nice. like this is cool. You know like we're good Hell at yeah. this. Yo, I can't wait for this new setup, bro. I'm, I'm worried I'm gonna run out of money because I have so many fucking ideas. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you should yeah. hear so good that, right now. When we're down when we're downstairs working, you should hear the things he's saying. Like oh, I'm about to do this, and we're I got gonna so do many this, ideas, bro. And a, we want to do this, and I'm gonna order this. I'm and gonna I'm make like, it happen. And look, he'll do it. I'm gonna I make know. It he'll do it. I, I, I told know. you, ain't he will do it. From what I want, bro. That's why I'm down there. This like, cat, when he when, stuff as much as I this can. is what I've always liked about a. This is what I've always liked about a. If he manifests it and he sees it and he wants to do it, he'll fucking do it. Look, this was the only cat I know that was like 20, 19 that had a Lincoln Navigator. Oh, I know, oh, no, I I've known him for, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, had, he had like TVs in the back. Like, and the you only reason the he got that shit is... Wasn't it the white one? Mm-hmm. The con- yeah, but the only reason he had that shit was because he saw it and he wanted it and he went and got it. He's always and had, so, right now he's got a fucking, yeah. a 2020... So, or whatever the hell but his drive his some drive some his, front. <laughs> his drive is admirable I don't know where it comes from I don't know where your drive come from but it's admirable you know what I mean look he secretly has an only fans I found him oh he's got the he's got the Pringles can oh, I don't know I didn't watch it was more like an he secret he secret, <laughs> like secretly got the can. got the Pringles <laughs> <laughs> roll rapper. Oh damn! Cole said, oh, based on shit, my fingers, son. I look like I got a little stubby one. Yeah, that was on the first podcast. Was it the first podcast? Look at that little guy. <laughs> oh, it's all good, man. It's at least look. Hey. It's, look, it's at least from here to here when it's when it's totally because that's how mine goes right. from here to there and when it's totally good. It just matters. Only thing that matters is how what you do and how you. Say, it's, it's not the if you hold your, it's if, the motion of the ocean. No, if, look, like, honestly, if you hold your hand up. up yeah, it's from there. Had a nice there. Little flow of Ooh, okay, I would have me. Look at you, a little monster. I would have me a decent size <laughs> one. Look at her. <laughs> Look at the size how you check. That's not correct. Yep. Yep. When, when it's, it's at full flex, that's, right. that's where it's at. That's where it's at. <laughs> okay. Maybe I was wrong. You can you can do it. You can try it tonight. You can try it tonight after the cast. Just, just, just like, get it at full. Just, just get it at Get it in full staff and just push, and you'll see that it goes right to the, and that's the, that's it, that's it. That's funny. Okay, that's what you guys. Here, need try to it do. right now, Kevin. If we can't see your legs, look down, handle your biz. Well, no, I don't want to fluff. Like, come on, we're not trying hard. to fluff. <laughs> He's old now. Oh we shit! Gotta save up all the energy. <laughs> you, you did. You did say that your balls do go droop in the yeah, toilet when sad. you sit down. Real talk. Yeah. Yo, Real I'm facts. You, I'm gonna get you a toilet that as soon as you sit down on it, it sings Snoop Dogg, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Talk about your no, dress. just just you get me a hammock. Just give me a ball hammock. I just want a ball hammock, please. I'm gonna have Levi put somebody some, put some clear, knit it up, Nicole. Clear, uh, yes. Knit up a ball hammock. Clear, you know what I mean? Like shit. knit me up a ball hammock real I am, quick. And I'm, I'm gonna patent that shit and sell them. You know how much I would Ooh. sell? I guarantee. I mean, there's that's what I'm saying. A ball hammock out there. Google that shit. We're about to look at it right Let's now. Let's do it. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Because if not, Let's do it. if there's one out there that, that actually has hooks on the toilet look, seat, is, ball you know what I mean? That's underwear. Oh. No. Oh, actually for balls. No, you got it. Oh, it's man, if we made one, make, um, underwear. Then, we, th- then we should make one. It's for in the toilet. It say underwear. We should make one, dog, because I'm tired of my balls dripping into the John John. Bro, if it doesn't exist, and we seriously, I would think it exists. But if it doesn't, are you kidding me? Let's see if we can actually solve this problem for you. Oh, wrong balls, man. They talk about the water fill. No, no. Regulators. But that's how my boy, my boy told me to put a brick. He said put a brick in it. 
so you can lower the level of your water in your toilet. I was like, what? Here, let me type he's like, he's like, like yeah, he's bottle. like, yeah, I've been doing it. I've been doing it for years. And he puts a brick in the back of his toilet to lower the water so his balls don't go in there. Yo, is that men's, shit? Ba- men's balls hanging in toilet water. Dog, there's really nothing out there? I would imagine we would find it much sooner. We 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 could probably sell this, guys. Get a patent. 2020. 2020. Put a brick. My dude told me he's like he's like 50, 53. He's like put a brick in the back of your toilet. I was like, "What?" <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, dude, I've been doing it for years." Toilet toilet seat. Cuz he was tired he was tired of his ball so use Mansfield a newly invented Yo, product. they got one. It's called balls. the Mansfield. Yeah. And it's a newly invented product. That's weird. Because I was close, man. I, I know it, it's needed. And <laughs> nobody's talking about it. <laughs> so glad we should talk never about have it. have that problem. Right? Actually, I know people who have had, um, like, females who have had, like, because uh, their stuff was so roast beefy that they've had surgery to fix that hmm. so they do have something we just have to look it up what it is but yeah that says they do got something now it's, it's taking us down the portal of like being you can't buy it though i mean yeah. we should be able to just buy it <laughs> we're looking at scrotums now Okay, okay, here, we're getting rid of this. Okay. All right, we're done with that. We're done. We're done at the ball. Word. Just, just let, just, word, just word. let's move Manfield. on. And, hey, no, it's not. Actually, actually, it should be called, let's make, we should coin a name and agree on it, and we should do this. Yo, we're going to order a bunch of those Mansfield and sell the next R. No, we should make them. Like, get a 3D printer, or we could have Nicole just the thread them herself. Mostly. Like, just. Why, <laughs> hey! <laughs> The break room ball hammock, you oh, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's go. Facts. Facts. The ball break room ball hammock. No, it could be like something like, you what? know how you have like the mesh nets the kids that put in the corner of the room to hold their right. animals? Right, for their toys? Right, you yeah. a little ball mesh net, period. And it's With ball. hooks that could go right over right the toilet, over the toilet seat. seat. So Boom. you can take off and wash and everything. Boom. Wash. It. Boom, put it in your pocket and you're done. You just go on about your day. What if? No. <laughs> no. Nah. Man, I think that shit. I think that shit's gonna work. Yeah, because you definitely don't want your balls to like fall in like a public. It would. It could actually, but but it could be a gimmick of our of our bathroom. podcast. It could actually be a gimmick of our podcast. Yo, what if there like, was just some guys, underwear you want a ten like, pack? You want a ten pack know, of ball, ball hammocks sling, from yo. the break room? Yo, you got a special the, ten pack of the ball large hammocks. Bald man, if you got the largest mm-hmm. nuts in your room, just know I got support for you. You got 50 pound balls? <laughs> All good, mate. <laughs> All right. Hey, yo, at least we graduated over to balls instead of bowls. <laughs> right? I think we did. Uh, it's a step up. Yeah. So we're, we're classy. We're, 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 we're classy now. Yeah, I mean. we're, we're a lot more classy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll back. We'll Cheers eventually get that. back. Cheers to the break. Salute. Episode six. Salute. Salute. Is it six? What I, don't, I think it. I don't know what episode it is. A couple interviews. Oh, yeah. Interviews is new. Yo, but as soon as we get the studio built, bro, we about to knock them out. I can't wait. Yo, I'm excited. To, man, because I got to... Oh, it's going to be fire, bro. It's going to be fire. I still plan on I'm so excited, dude. Interviews. You know what I'm saying? Aaron's like, we should put a fireplace over here. I do got a spot for the fireplace, though. We, we built it. I'm joking, but I mean, no, I do. Remember that spot over there where underneath that cubby thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, instead, remember how we we're gonna do slant instead of doing so we can go sit down and put the little fireplace and sit right there. Yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. Yo, I didn't know I was a beast. Shit is going. We we doing pretty damn good. That shit we look are. good as hell right now. Yep. And I'm going day by day. I can't day wait two, to see like it. Day one, mm-hmm. day two. Yeah. So now right you got to frame it down, but now you got. But now you got the framing down, but then you have to watch a drywall master and what that person does, you know what I mean, in their right field. Now, my idea because is kind of, I'm just going to put it against the wall. We're going to screw all the big ones on it first. And then we're going to go through yeah. and cut and measure, then score little pieces, break them off. And, you know, just try to play patch up for a while. 
see how that goes. Yeah, but I mean, tape, just I think about how much. Yeah, we got tape. Think about how much you watch the framing. I got a professional sander. I got a Yeah, we got we got this. I got a lot of shit. Our framing. I know you do. Our framing. I know you do. I know you do, but as much time as you spent on watching the framing, Aaron, as much time as you spent on dude with the framing, you should spend on somebody with drywall too. Yes. That way, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't watch anything like, with drywall yet, but I will though. I'll yeah, watch you, the day of. yeah, yeah, you should. But, yeah. Yep. But I think we're doing damn pretty good. Mm-hmm. I've I, I, the I whole entire room done except for the door, which I didn't have. I don't got the door yet, so excuse me, I didn't. Um, I well, you got you just frame the door, so you. Well, I don't. I need to know what size it's gonna... exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not, I never framed a door before, so I don't fucking know. So I need the door itself, so I can mm-hmm. measure it and size it in myself, because that's the only way I'm gonna feel comfortable. But yeah, we did pretty. You can find people. I literally. You can find people who have doors, old doors oh, no, for. I found a door. For like. I'm gonna go buy one. He just gotta drive. But you can find. But door. he just gotta drive over to Niles to get it. You right. Know, busted handles already. I don't know. No, doors big, that have been in houses nice that door. didn't sell and shit. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. doors that were in a house that didn't sell, and now they broke it down. Like, there's so many doors out there, dude. I knew this dude who built a house out of doors, like a a, a barn out of doors. Yeah, no, they got they got some at Home Depot. Like, I know, but I don't know. Like make that shit original. Only a hundred bucks, you know what I mean? I know, but you should make it original. You should go to Facebook Marketplace and find like some nice Victorian ass door. You know what I mean? Like you should find some dope I'm shit. To drive a gang on a dog. I just need something to close. No, <laughs> it, but it'll be like twenty bucks. Look, look, it'll be like twenty bucks. All you gotta do is go pick it up. Damn, maybe. You know what I mean? But it'll be it'll be one of a kind. It's not like you're going to Home Depot oh, see, and getting some the, shit the, from China. Braces feature on. Oh, smile. Look at your braces. See them? I said that. <laughs> huh? I said that before. Why does it look like I got braces on? Yeah, we got braces. See that? Oh, okay. I thought I was tripping. I said it like five ah, times. I look like a geek. <laughs> Can't oh. smile. Yeah, he ain't got braces. <laughs> you guys didn't hear nah, dog. Oh, he got the. He got that. He got that Krishan rock tooth. <laughs> I don't got no Krishan. What, what you talking about, dog? Yeah, she got the one she can pop out. Krishan rock got that one too. She pops out. Oh she, yeah, she that shit. Up. I can't. Like that. Oh, I didn't, damn. Yeah, yeah. Well, hers is right there in the front, though. That's, you know what I mean? At least that's on the side. Yeah, that's horrible. Hell yeah. Now, on to our next subject. Drake being um, brought in as possible suspect of killing Extension. That's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, unfortunate. There was $50,000 was paid, right? And so... Ten thousand was paid to the three people that got away, and then five thousand was paid to the dude that went to prison. 50, and so he was—he was mad. He was mad. He getting to get his ten, and so he told on everybody. Yeah, you got to pay me more than five or ten thousand dollars to kill somebody, especially someone famous. Right, but now for some reason, where there's some smoke, there's some fire, and now for some reason, Drake is sitting in court. I don't understand where Drake, why Drake got involved. It's because he makes in a crazy. deposition, because Drake said he was—he was tired of this cat. And then he made a song talking about he meteored this dude. He, he he unalived him. He made a song in like his new album that was talking about he unalived this guy. And so the well, lawyer for ex- something if you just did something. Like yeah, that. but he's but they're the speaking in code. Unalived. Yeah, he's speaking in code though. But I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? And I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that's pretty strange. But how many artists and, and also, said something about also, doing something? Also, Tension, Tension said, Tension said, if I die, it's because of Drake. He tweeted that, that shit. That was a joke. But then look, he that, died. But it happened. Right. I but he know, died. And then look, now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but the dude died. He said, if I die, it's because of Drake. He said that. I did. I know. That's, I, did, that, that, I don't know. They have to have some kind of evidence because they did bring Drake into it. <laughs> Like the court, so mm-hmm. not just I thought Pierce said, like not just because Drake had a song said fifty thousand on it said disrespect. I mean, I don't know. I don't understand why rappers or anyone just sits there and makes a song about something that they did. It's like I said that he's not the only he's not the only one that did that. Look, look how many other yeah. rappers said something that oh, they see, did I guess something. You could that... listen to any rap. We can probably go to <laughs> J Cole's whole catalog and find something that suggests something. You know what I mean. 
Literally, you can find mm. it. You like, yo, that one time on that one song, he did say something about about driving in a car no. to shoot people. You know what I mean? Or shooting no, he didn't. In a car. Not Cole. Yeah, Not Cole. He said it. Yeah, Cole had nothing to do with this murder. Bro, I, I think it actually. No. Oh, now, fuck out of here, bro. I think about it. Forest Hill Drive. Think about it. Bro, was one of the <laughs> best albums ever. Forest Hill Drive was easy. <laughs> I seen him perform that what? shit, whole album live. Yep, me too. Yeah. Me too. That he shit was amazing. To suck a dick or nothing. Suck a fruit cane, I Dog, I got shit. sick. I got shit. sick at that concert. I was so sick when I came back. Literally. Yeah, I was all shivering. Had I had a seen, fever. I seen Nicki Minaj. That's why I got so much respect for her because she killed it. I, actually, I saw yeah. Nicki Minaj she's a good, the she's day a great. that, um, uh, what's his name, pro- pro- proposed to her, Meek Mill. I saw them both together do that. Oh, that they was that sweet. That's history. sweet. Yeah, even though they broke up, that was still like a part of hip-hop history. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you was there to see it. Yeah, I was there. There was because that was the first she came out with the rock, and they were talking about it. You know what I mean? And that was like when they they first saw that ring, like, "Yo, look at big," because they were zooming in on on the big screen. That that that, that was fun. Tell us about the um. When, tell us about your Rolling Loud experience. Oh, rolling Loud was hard, like because I mean I'm not a young man no more, so that shit is very enduring, and um, being in crowds with that many people is definitely. Uh, uh, you got to be a tough motherfucker. Like, I was protecting people around me because I was the biggest one around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was protecting... You were the squad. dad. I had a dad You were the dad in the yeah. squad. Well, there was a dad in front of me, and he, I think he had his, his son or his daughter. We were watching Kid Leroy. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, this white Man, dude and his kids awesome and artist. Yeah, so I was like, you know, I was a sweet that his dad brought him here. So, you know what I mean? Um, so, like, but there was crowds there pushing so fucking hard because it was getting later in the day, bro. And it was like, I'm trying to protect these cats by holding on to the barrier. I got Keita right here. Then, like, crowd starts moving. Some chick gets literally smashed to me face to face. Like, we're stuck. You know what I mean? It's, like, awkward as hell. But it's, like, I'm trying to, like, make sure she don't get smashed even more. So I'm, like, holding on to this fucking pole. You see, I don't want to be a part of that. fucking game. I don't want to. Yeah, that, those are horrible that I was kind not of. cool with. But other than that, just the experience of being able to see. Like, you saw the videos I sent you, bro. Just to be able to see that shit yeah. and be there. It was like, yo, this shit is off the chain. Because as long as you're yeah. comfortable, it's good. But unless you're up front, it's garbage. Unless you're up front, it's garbage. Just like at a football game. Unless yeah. you're up close. But here's garbage. the thing. Here's the thing about being up front. You have to be able to take the pushes of the crowds exactly. and the shift of the exactly. crowd. And, people throwing and stuff I can't there. take that. No, not even that. Like you, all that weight behind you that pushes you against those bars. Mm-hmm. Or there might be a girl that's mad behind you that has her nails in your neck because you oh. cut. Like, I you can't do none of that shit for you. You know what I mean? I remember going to a My Chemical Romance show mm-hmm. and some girl put that her fucking nails night. in my neck. Mm-hmm. That was beautiful. It, it was a good Yo, spot that too. night was like fucking perfect. The way, was, yeah. Like fucking, listen, this is the first big rap concert in Youngstown, right? And they have this new outside venue. So like, we're sitting at Gucci's like right here performing outside. It's a beautiful night too. I was too. in heaven. Like, listen, there's a fucking uh, freeway behind them. So you see like cars just drive by. You saw this one car stop. Oh, so it was a beautiful it was, night. Yeah, it was just like the scenery was amazing. Because you saw cars stopping yeah. on the freeway, getting out and listening to Gucci. You know what I'm saying? You got Gucci made in Youngstown, playing for the city pretty much. That shit was off the mother yeah, yeah. chain. And he did like every hit too. It was fucking All white brick. Perfect. Oh my God. Oh, that shit was perfect. He killed that shit. Oh, oh yeah. I love Gucci. Gucci yeah. is a motherfucker. I love man. Gucci. I will, man, I swear to God, I'll fight for Gucci. Gucci is that motherfucking dude. That's, that's I good. Faker I real. I, that's like good. Gucci. That's good. That's good. That's good. I, I'm pa- I, I'm glad you're passionate Yo, about it. Gucci should be on that top list too. I ain't gonna lie. Gucci, Gucci. should be on the top list. Top thirty. Top thirty. Possibly top thirty. But he has earned a spot in right yeah. now. People slept on Gucci. Because I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. All day though, I'm on G. I'm with Jeezy. I'm with Jeezy all day. That's me. I like though. Jeezy too. But Gucci proved that he was way more gangster than Jeezy. No, but what I'm saying is, is like, Smack. did you watch the verses? Did you watch the yeah. verses? Yeah. Who, who does, who is the yeah. ball that bitch with they ball selling tags? Bruh. I don't like Bro, you crazy. Though. Jeezy killed this cat. More like a nah, freestyle. bro. Listen, Gucci showed him that. Like Yo, bro, remember, you said I was so scared. Look, first of all, I was so scared. I was so scared the whole time, to be honest Gucci with you. Gucci was going to get popped. No, I thought... I just thought something was going to happen. Like, it wasn't good. Like, I was like, this is going to be a bad night tonight. There was something in the air. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, my God. Somebody's going to die. 
because they're going to talk about this, they're going to talk about that, and they're going to bring up this and that, and they did. And it, songs. He played them all. Bro, bro, so did Jeezy, though. Nah, and Jeezy did not that, play his diss songs. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. He actually played all the, all the songs. He played the song where he was talking about killing killing Jeezy's dudes. You know if I, mean? I could see another one done, redone that was horrible, I wish I could see 112 and um, Jagged Edge redo it. Because that. when they did it, when they did it, it was horrible. But if they were to actually go head to head again, because that was when it, they first started and their connection was whack and shit was weak. 112 versus Jagged Edge? Oh my God, man. One. Uh, Jagged Edge, probably. Um, Jagged Edge. Jeezy or Gucci? Gucci? That's not Jeezy. Question. I've always been Gucci. That's hard for me, because I, I like Jeezy more than I like Gucci, to be honest, mm. at first. But then Gucci, the new I'll Gucci is better than the old, than the new Jeezy. I'll tell you what, I saw Jeezy, I saw Mary J. Blige and Jay-Z in Atlanta, and... I have never I seen more people more. Too, I've never seen more people more excited. Like I was there for Jay. You know me. I'm there for Jay, right? right? I see Jay. I'm up singing Jay songs. But they were waiting. They wanted Jay to get off stage. All they wanted was Gucci. I mean, uh, Jeezy. Yo, That's yo, all the yo, fuck yo, they I wanted. Saw that same experience. I was gonna just say. I went to a. a I was like, I that shit was crazy. I was had, like, they uh, were all looking at me like I'm funny. I had Little Wayne, Bless Birdman, you. um. Jim Jones, I had a bunch of cats, Jim, um, Rick Ross and these cats, and everybody, the whole concert was screaming Jeezy the whole fucking time. The whole every place. Artist, look, Jigga, look, I was, Jeezy, Jay was Jeezy. up there. This was Jay-Z Jay and Jay Jigga there for me. and Mary J. This was the heart of the city tour when uh, Mary J. Blige and Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. So I saw that, but Jeezy opened for him. That shit was fucking nuts. Right? There. And What'd you say? I asked if she was good over he asked there. If I was, he was like, are you good? Oh. She's getting quite like, quiet on us. No, I'm talking. She lit. I just said I, I know. prefer Gucci. She but I like, I mean, I like a lot of Jay-Z Jay songs. Yo. Yeah. I don't know. I just like Gucci's voice and how Gucci, like, he has, that like, new, a, a steady little flow. That like, new Gucci flow is nice. I don't know. Yeah. I no, I, I didn't like it because it always sounds like he was had a bag of marbles in his mouth. He might have. Like, but he's he's you know what I mean? That's just how he talks with them fake teeth now. No, but I mean, like, it always sounded like he had a bag. Even back, I lived in Florida when Jeezy came out. go hard. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That I, shit I like Gucci. so good. You know what I, mean? I still got my Gucci shirt and everything. Yeah. I got a special shirt made for the concert. Yeah. I never I fucked like with him like I never fucked with Master P. Like, I didn't fuck with them cats. I didn't fuck with No Limit. I didn't fuck with that. Like, I didn't no, fuck with no, none of that no. shit. <laughs> no. I used to actually break. Master P CDs at other I, people's I houses. I, was, I fucked with all of them. I like, I like Master P. I was in a P phase, yeah. Ice Cream Man. Mr. Hyde. Yeah, see, I never got on that. All my all my homies were like, Mr. you got to hear. I'm like, no, I don't have to hear this shit. Yeah, they gave you that fucked up masculinity. Masculinity. C Murder. No, C Murder is Silk, the, to Silk the Shocker. That's that Silk mentality. the Shocker and C Murder. Uh, I, Man, I wasn't them too cats. big of a C Murder fan. C Murder was not the best rapper. That yeah. He was hyped up for no reason. He got out of, he got out of prison and... And they're like, oh shocker, shit, never mind. One or two songs. Yeah, we're good. Oh shit. But yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this guy got yeah. out there like, yeah. He was our. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. I yeah, you need to go right back. That's what you sound like? Oh fuck. <laughs> we thought he was going to come out and kill that shit. You know what I mean? Like Gucci did. They thought he was about yeah. to be the new Gucci. No, but they but they cloned that cat. No, I don't know. That's bro. what they were saying that he's a clone. That's why he come back. They and he no, looks, they're, they're not getting any benefits does. off of Gucci. Why would they? Be, why would, he's yeah. talking different. He looks different. He, he sounds different. He, listen, he, he lost yo, when I got out of jail, 20, 30 pounds in jail. Yo, that first time I got out of jail, I lost ninety pounds myself, and I ain't Gucci. Right. You know what I'm saying I was a, I was a totally right. different person. Totally different person. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he just he. I agree. I agree. I mean, I they kept eating obviously meat. didn't clone him. Yeah, nah, I don't think they they clone cloning ain't they don't clone rappers. Like what the fuck they got? No, rap obviously, rappers? obviously, you uh, feel me obviously they didn't. Yeah, we know this. Yeah, cats that cats say that stupid shit, and it's like, you know, just like they said, who else did they say they cloned? I don't know. 
what do you guys think about that um uh that bone and three six mafia fight at the versus oh that was funny that was a good one did you see that fight no that bone was busy bone talking about to a fight on stage. Oh, really? yeah uh gangsta, like, gangsta boo like, gangsta boo threw some shit no, 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 Busy Bone no, threw some no, shit. No, 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 no. It was um. Bone was like my favorite. No, it was group. Busy Bone, but um, it was yep, because it um, was busy. What's his name? Said Juicy J said, "Suck my dick" or something because they was talking shit. Oh, Bone was. I got it on my TikTok. Can't I made you pull a video stuff out of it. up like that because it's already on I got a TikTok of it. Yeah, I got a TikTok of it. But um. So if it's already out, you're allowed to pull it up, right? You didn't see it. No. Real quick, Gangsta Boo was pissed. She's like, like, you I need to take your medication. Work yeah. That's what I do. Oh no, he said one thing y'all ain't about to do is sit here and mock me while I'm on stage. I mean, let's see. What do you think Gangsta Boo was doing at the gates when she was at the gates talking about three six mafia didn't mean nothing. Crazy. Follow my TikTok, DJ A. I'm the dopest. China, give me a deal. I need that mail. Spell it out. Come get a feel. C H I N A. Give me a deal. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, bro. Nah, hold on. Yes, uh, it's at DJ underscore A Y E on TikTok. Trying to get that 1,000 so I can go live. Flat out. I'd be another one of them fucking million DJs they have on TikTok already. Literally every other fucking swipe I do is a fucking different DJ. Different age, different size, different genre, different gender. You know what I mean? <laughs> different ethnicity. Literally a million of them now, bro. Now that's why I don't I don't even strive to go live with DJing. If I do it, it's just for me. You know what I mean? Just because you, you got them, enjoy you that. got You've them. You've been doing that for years. Like that's something you really enjoy doing. Like you like to do it. I feel like I'm a dope ass DJ. Kev, you see my skills? They was getting better again, I huh? Seen you. I'm back. Yeah, hey, man. Hold up, what? Look, I remember. Because well, I tell stories with my my timelines of music. You know what I mean? I like to go into shit and create 15, a different vibe. 10, 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember Cole. I still got a video of Coley Cole DJing way back in the day. Remember the the the, the old house on Oakland? Kev been there. Oh yeah. Kevin the Tiger. Oh man, we remember tiger. the tiger. That tiger, Cole, we remember that tiger. Yeah, huh? I used to sit right there in your living room. Oh, yeah, just lay there. Man, that tiger was, was like, sexy. That was big, tiger. sexy. That thing was like as big as this table. Oh, yeah, that thing was huge. Look, yeah, that yeah. thing, that thing made me feel sexual every time I I'm saw sure it. I was like, that's. that's I'm sure that... you probably you you probably one of the people that went over and laid by and took pictures with like with your arm up and shit, trying to look oh, yeah. all sexy. No, no, straight up. I used to lay on it though. I used to lay on it. That tiger was. Would you have laid on it if you knew what Aaron did on that tiger? I ain't never had sex on that time. My kids played on there. No, I hope some, not. Because I used to lay on it. There, <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Uh, oh, let's not even talk about it. No uh, names, no names. All right, P. Homeboy. <laughs> no names. Yeah. That used to be so much fun. Damn, he said mud day. ducks. Yeah. Well, that's, that's all I can say. That's all we can this. say. I'm probably going to watch this podcast say. and be like, are they talking about me? I used to go over there. Sheesh. They, they used to be over at his house when I went over his house. That shit was fun. Now, Cole ain't never saw me. And, 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 but but, but, no, but if you were and if you laid on that tiger, if you laid on that tiger at that time, you were a mud duck. I never laid That's on all I'm tiger. saying. I, I never laid on the tiger, did I? No, not a lot of people laid on the tiger. Like, even when I was just I didn't, no, people no. chilling. Just, general, just like the homies. This. No, but we used to have some girls that come over that would lay on the tiger. Take <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'd be down for that type of fun. <laughs> Cole ain't that kind of girl. Lay on the tire. <laughs> no, Shades of course of not. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Never, ever have I have ever heard anything about Nicole in the streets. Nah, nah, she she like keeps that. her shit. She keeps her shit under wraps. You know what I mean? I mean, I you know I had my little spur just like everyone did, but like the past ten, uh, fifteen years, uh, like I. Oh, oh my! <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> 
okay, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, I ain't. Nah, I've never heard nothing. Nowhere, <laughs> not near nada. Talk YouTube just for that. No, that's funny. Just for you <laughs> gagging, <laughs> gagging on the ghost dick. <laughs> you need to clip that one. <laughs> that one Yo, we need to clip it, bro. I don't have enough time to do clips all day. This shit is hard. Just send it to me, and I'll do it. I'll okay, do it all. I'm going to give you a password to YouTube so that way you can download it directly from YouTube. The whole video. So yeah, I'll do it. You need with it. Yeah. That's fine. Just like she has the Facebook. Just give me that, and I'll figure it all out. Mm -hmm. What are we going to give Drew? <laughs> An hour to get here? Yeah, man. He needs, he needs participation nah. points. Look, we're only getting be better. Busy. We're only getting Yo, better. We're only, yeah, yeah. He deserves we're only, to do what he's doing right now. We're only getting better, but we're only getting also... Closer, like the bond is getting stronger. That's Look, you guys are building friends, something. You know what Look, I mean? but listen, you, but but you guys wow. are building something. You guys are sweating in the basement. We are busting ass, son. Yo, Look, that down, bond, though. that bond is even getting stronger. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. we're we're the the stuff we're creating here is starting to get serious. You know what I mean? Like, it's starting to get fucking real. I didn't, I didn't you know, so. Sorry, I'm pr I'm proud of I'm proud of I'm proud of y'all, man. Y'all are yeah, y'all are really sticking to it. We are. Definitely. I'm sticking to it because nobody's gonna tell you that they're proud of you. Your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend ain't gonna tell you that they're proud of you. I'm proud of y'all, man. Y'all are sticking to the fucking plan. You're right. Nobody does tell us we're pr they're proud of us for some reason. But uh, no one says, "Hey, no, I'm fucking see. proud of what you're doing." Yeah. But I'm seriously proud to be your friend. I'm seriously proud to be we a part of this. Like I'm really. We are the You know what I mean? This is something we can do. I'm happy I got some friends that don't think this is stupid and we shouldn't do it stupid. Nobody wants to do a stupid podcast. And, like, I, I, hear, it, but this I listen to hear that shit all the time, bro. Nobody wants but to. But when I sit around, like, I really don't sit around thinking, like, oh, we're doing a podcast. I really just sit here and be like, oh, I'm just sitting here bullshitting with some friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how it feels. We've each other since mm -hmm. high yeah. school. Yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, we're just kicking. You know that's how I mean? it feels. We got a lot in common. So, like, we know a lot about each other, grew up around the same parts. Yeah. So we know. The All went to the shit. same school at yeah. the same time, like you know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. so you know? Was but every cast, every every yeah, cast, cast, every interaction, yeah, every interaction, insane. every look. When Coley said, "Can I come through and help?" You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like well, that all means something. Yeah. That all that all, that all means something. And then she actually well, came through and helped. Then she actually came through and helped. Oh, yeah, she was here for. A, you know what I mean? Hours. Like, like. I thought she stayed at your crib. You know what I mean? Like she actually. She was here was like all day today. She left for an hour. That's that's what I'm saying, man. This this uh, passion and this drive that we have, yeah. we got this, Look, man. Drew can have the night off. Drew Drew's all allowed all to have the night off. We we can we we can give Drew the night off. Yeah, he's you know what I mean. Drew's, it's our fault. Drew's yeah. Drew's living his life right now. Yeah. That well deserved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we ain't mad. He's at single, you. just trying to find himself again, player. You know what I mean? He's, he was with that girl for twelve but, years. That's, yeah, that's what but I'm saying. telling you what, next next week next he week his ass better be here. He couldn't be happier right now. Yeah. Because he was with that chick for twelve years, and he said, um, "Oh, he ran back to the old girl." No, he didn't. No, no, he's not. We're he, talking about the old found one. A, he found a friend. Yeah. So um, he's, in, he's enjoying himself right now. Yeah, he's just out living his life. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah. nice and free. Should, it's cool. Yeah. But we planned for it. But for him to like leave like that, that was kind of, you know. That's kind of shady. Well, he was probably, you know what I mean? This is just kind of spurred a moment deal. We, we were going to do it yesterday, but I mean, shit. Drew, next, he needs to be here next time. That's all I'm saying. Hey, he might not. I miss him. Do we want to question? Does he want to be on the pod forever? Forever? Why not? He his, He's part look, of his game. character is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah his character does. is he great. Does bring, he does bring a lot to it. Though, too. Yeah, without <laughs> his stories, bro, we're nothing. <laughs> I to. like his perspectives. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I mean. Like, his ass better be here next podcast because. We're going to fire him. <laughs> what, look. Drew, no, I we're not going to fire him. But what I'm saying is, is like, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to pull his weight. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know, man. All the attention has to be on, on me. <laughs> Your sexy ass. You talking shit. Now I'm the sexual beast in the, in the room without Drew <laughs> admitting his singleness. You know what I mean? Just close. 
<laughs> he glows like a fucking uh, oh, yeah. glow worm Coast or a light bright. Up when he, speaks. You know I mean? <laughs> he looks. He looks like a glow worm or a light bright. Like you're just like yeah, excited to be around him and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like that. That. Um, His neck what, is this, what is that bling bling that women like get attracted to? You know what I'm saying. Shoulders and hands and all kinds of different stuff. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's like women feel the aura of like man or something. You know what I mean? Whenever a man is like ready to mate, I mean like a woman. Can it's also the testosterone. There's yeah, there's, there's pheromones. There's a lot of You'll there's a lot of pheromones that fly around. Manly man step into the room, like whether it's just, it's cologne or just something about him. But it's just like yeah, immediate alpha male feel vibes. You know what I mean? It's like oh yeah, come here, daddy. You know what I mean? Not maybe not your ears. It's just like a, a vibe. You know I mean, what I'm talking about, Kev, don't I've you? I've been in certain places. Well, maybe that's how you feel. An attracted tweaking, man you know I mean? has walked in. Start tweaking, you know I don't know, know if it goes do, that do, far, do, 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 but do, do. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if it's that serious. Damn, my nipples never went hard for another man, but what I'm saying no, is, is I, I can understand when somebody else is uh, walks into the room that's harder than me. Yeah, like an alpha male steps into the yeah, room. Yeah, I mean, like, I think everyone, even like when a really like beautiful me. female walks into the room. I feel like when you know I mean? walk she in the room, she has every intention. Yeah. Would be the but, same if. A, but really, I'm trying to. I'm trying to shift. I'm trying to like not even be like think about that on my uh, frequency. You know what I mean? Like I'm trying not trying to vibrate on that frequency. I'm not trying to be like I'm harder than you, or I'm better looking than you. Well, it's not about you know what I mean? See, I don't want. I'm not. I don't want. I don't really care, but I feel like um, I could walk into a room and create the presence that's going to Well, you do. Notice. You do. Your charisma, you have charisma. You have like charisma plus 10. You know what I mean? Yeah, your charisma is just amazing. Well, you got to You know what I mean? And your your drive, like I said, your drive comes from nowhere. And that's that's admirable. That that's something that I fucking admire you about be you because my yourself. drive yeah, I don't have that drive. I don't have the drive in, that you have. But in the dumb ideas that I have. He's very determined. Yeah, but you inspire me. Else to lose. You know what I mean? No, just, just experience again. You inspire. Son. You inspire. Okay, you inspire me to do more. Let's do it, son. Video games are cool though, but I do like <laughs> to do things. You know what I'm saying? Well, me, yo, listen, I'm telling you, me changing the day turn changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Change everything. Change the game. And then me, me stepping Hell up yeah. and getting a PC. Changed my game, changed the game too. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the best decisions I made. Cause I, you know, my MacBook's good, but it don't, I can't do nothing that I've been doing. You know what I mean? And those are big leaps. Yeah, that PC is crucial. It's crucial. Yes. Now it's changed everything. It changed all of our lives. Lightweight. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's fun, man. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just more uh, talk about the bond that we create and the bond that you guys are creating and the, how strong our bond is. Like, man, I look forward to kicking it with y'all. It's been a week, bro. You know what I mean? No, it seems like I, I spent the whole week. I spent, I, yeah, I spent all this time just waiting just to kick it with the <laughs> homies. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm on, like, I'm on the, the game normally every night by eight when I'm on the days I work. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Every day, no yeah. matter what. I gotta go pee. I gotta go pee real quick. All right, Cole, we'll talk amongst ourselves for a quick moment. So, Cole. All right, all right. Um, What's up? So, um, take a shot. Cheers. <laughs> a little bit. You afraid of that shit, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't drink this. Oh, oh, you like the silver shit. I'm, I only drink Patron. Oh, you don't like the fake shit. It's not fake. Ghetto. Okay. Here we go. This is to the break room podcast episode six. Mm-hmm. What should we name? What should I name the basement studio? Break, the break room. This is break, the break room, room basement. This is the break room studio. No. Um. Hmm. Break room basement. The basement. I don't like the word basement. Cause I, and when I'm in it, I don't want to think I'm in the basement. You know what I mean, I don't want to be somewhere else. When I go in there, I'm in my own studio. I wouldn't world. change the name. Hmm. Oh, oh my god. My bad. Ugh. Let me move the camera. Get the fell asleep on us. And we've been going for three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on now. Just you know, I got smoking. right. 
You know, I'm about to roll up another one. <laughs> I guess I'll take another dab. Shit, that'll be my third dab today. Dab. Watch out. Oh, shit. I'm getting serious. No, man. That's I... only three, though. Like, I would have been done a whole bunch by now. Oh, Aaron got the sound. Yeah, no, I'm trying to stretch. I'm trying to stretch. It's okay. It's okay, mijo. Aaron just plays all this shit. What? You found a glass flute. You, like Lizzo. I'll just push the sound effects button. What do you call a truck that has wheels and flies? I don't know. A garbage truck. <laughs> yeah. Flies? What do you call whale? Flies from the garbage? Because the flies stink. I mean, because oh. the garbage stinks and there's flies. Oh. So it has wheels and okay, flies. Okay, okay. What do you call? What do you call a whale with no undies? Under what? I don't know. Free Willy. Actually, was a good one. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, what else do we have on our list? I hit record again. I think we talked about one uppers. We talked about Rose Culture. We talked about the 100 Billboard. 25. What else did I have on my. Uh, we about Drake. I wrote it down. We talked about Drake. We talked about buttholes. Mm. We didn't talk about buttholes. What did we talk about? Section. Oh boy. Butthole portion. Butthole portion. Mm, 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 mm. What else? I wrote something down that said I care less about where your car is parked or where your rest your head at, but I care more about where your heart and head is at. So like basically what I mean is I don't care about the car that you drive or the house that you live in. But I care more about where your heart and where your head is at. You know what I mean? Like, that's why we resonate with one another because Depending on who obviously we resonate. Yeah. But I don't really care. Like, all my friends, friends post all this shit. Like, they live, yeah, like they live perfect lives and they have all this shit. They have all these garages and all these cars. And yeah, I'm happy for them, but I don't care what you drive or where you live. I've never bought a car and cared about what somebody else thought about it. Yeah. I don't care about. I don't care what anyone got, or I don't care about that. Nah. I yeah. I mean, I, I look at it. But I do care. I do I care about where your head and your heart. Where Where's your head and your heart at? Yeah. Because that's what makes us friends. That's what makes us uh, kindred or close. Mm -hmm. You know. Interesting. Interesting. Well, no, I hate that though because that's kind of like the same thing as guys sending me pictures of like Ding money, dog. like oh, them yeah. holding money yeah. or like their car or something. Like I don't care. That's good. You know That's what I mean? good. Like, yeah. That kind of actually makes me like just click off their pictures and not even really talk to them because like to me, it's yeah, like you don't bag. have anything else to offer besides like, okay, you got money and a nice car, but I got, right. I got right. you know, some money and I got like a nice car too. So, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, like, I don't know. Yeah. I get that. I get it. I get it. That's that's horrible. I because I, I don't know how the dating scene works anymore. I'm old and I'm married, so that's I don't know how that I just works. Stay single because like it's so weird out here. Like people are wanna. really weird and like I don't want to be out there. That's so right. I don't. I don't, 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 don't want no part. No way. I don't know. <laughs> like I'm Cole good. Drew is living it. <laughs> he makes it sound. Yeah, fun. there's no way. Well, he does make it sound. Though, fun. Like how old is you? Yeah, he's, he's 24. 30. Oh, shit. He looked young. Yeah. Living like he's 24. I mean, like 12 years ago, I was do, do, do. probably doing what he was doing, too. Do, do, do. You know? I was locked down at 30 with my girl. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron knows my past. Aaron was a very close witness to my past. Yes, sir. He knows I used to be a dog. <laughs> um, but I'm not no more. I'm not a dog anymore. You know what I mean? Um, what else do we Married life and kids humbled you. Things we want to talk about. 
Absolutely. It does humble you, man. Mm-hmm. It makes you be like, I chose this. This is what I chose. I don't have no other choice. You know what I mean? Like, this is what it is. And but when you actually choose to stick to that and then you like get hit up and then you start believing in God, shit changes. Like it's weird, man. Did you, Life is weird. Did you happen to watch the um Jay Prince interview? No, but I watched Charleston White talk about Jay Prince. <laughs> I don't know who Charleston White is. I didn't watch any of that. Like Wow. I didn't, um, I didn't yes, start you do. getting on like Jay Prince is um who is I, I sent Charleston Jay White Prince to the pod is. all the time. I, I was sending his videos um, as little shorts. Yeah, he's, he's a little guy. Jay but anywho, um, I don't fuck with Charleston White. He's a weirdo to me. But, uh, yeah. nah, Jay, yeah. Jay Prince, he's the one. He was at the uh, takeoff murder and he just explained his part in it. Jay Prince is like an old mafia dude. It was an extra interesting interview, but he, he just explained um, what happened from his point of view at the takeoff incident. You know what I mean? And how it really wasn't his. He was actually throwing shade and pointing fingers at one of the Migos friends. He said was a hothead and was just looking for a reason to pop off. And he was the one who initiated everything. And um, he was the one who, who ended up, I'm pretty sure he's the one who ended up hitting takeoff himself. You know I mean? That's fucked so, up. But that probably happened for real. Yeah, yeah. Because he said, Jay Prince said he was actually inside paying the bill right when it actually happened. But he was right there with everybody. He just stepped away to pay the bill, and we were everybody fucked up. ready to leave. And they was arguing. Jay Prince been around school. for a minute. Jay Prince been around for a minute. Well, he's like the mafia now. You know what I mean, the mafia of the rap game. But, but no, he's been around for a long time. Like he's, I, I remember hearing his name back in the like fucking two thousand five, two thousand four. Yeah. So he's been around for a good 15, 16 years, yeah. seventeen years. Well, they, you know said know he, he, they said he, he threatened. Offset, but I don't remember it. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to it, but I didn't hear him. It was probably all over ego. It was all over ego. Somebody lost their money. Somebody got shot. Like what the fuck? That's what it was. Well, nobody was gambling. It wasn't over gambling. It wasn't even over basketball. It was. It wasn't even a problem. They said there was no beef going on. It was just somebody got hired. Oh, yeah. Well, then no. Well, then it, the conspiracy said, might be said, true. Yo, you don't know nothing about basketball. Don't talk to me about basketball. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. Well, that's what the video says. Did you see the video? You didn't see the, the that's video? That's what I said. Like, I, I, when I, I like, pull that shit up yeah, for everybody. Yeah, I literally, like I said, I go to you, work and I come home. You saw the video of take off? I didn't see any of this. I, I don't know anything about any of this stuff that you guys are talking about. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see, I didn't even see this video. That's horrible, huh? But that I have no idea what's going on nah, nah, with anything. Good. No, it's not. No, that's it. good. That's actually a good thing. Yeah. No, that's really a good thing for real. Because if you don't know about it, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing. I don't know either. No, I don't know that just shows that you go to work and you do you your job. Yeah. I don't even know who they are. You put your head down. You put your head down. And go to work. I, that's I, that's what killing I shit. Smaller. It's gonna be right there between us, but you're gonna see it right here. Damn. Damn. I can't believe we got the shit on camera. That's so fucked up. They killed that dude. Is it fake? Look, wait, wait. Is it fake? Look, wait, wait. Is it fake? 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 Is it fake?
Hope you so it doesn't show who shot nah, him or anything. No, nah, it doesn't show a lot. That's not the full video. So I wouldn't want to see him shot anyway. That's fucking crazy. Coming out of Texas involving two of the three Migos members, that being Takeoff and Quavo. Now reports are changing as time passes and the circumstances leading up to the incident. In this is our culture, Florida. right? And how do you feel about like Cardi B women, woman of the year? I think, I think she but, came up quick and did a lot since she's been out. A woman young of lady. The year? That was. Why is she not a woman? Guys. Because she's not a friend. No, I didn't say. No, I didn't say she wasn't a woman. I didn't say she wasn't a woman. She's yeah. a great woman. She's a woman. She's beautiful. She's all this sort of that. But what I'm saying is, this woman of the year? Do you know who else has been woman of the year? Michelle Obama. Do you think she's close to fucking Michelle Obama? Who's Michelle Obama? Uh, shut your fucking mouth. I mean, what's she done? Great. I don't know nothing about her. Bro, she married Obama. I don't know nothing about her. No, she's no, she she's actually you know no, she's, I mean, a, she's, she's a no, she's a she's a no, she's a black woman. She's a black woman. Too, no, she's a black <laughs> charity work. She's a black woman that graduated top of her class in Columbia and Harvard. Okay. Both, both universities. So that makes her a better woman. No, 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 no. It makes her. Are you kidding wise, me? Talking about sure. talking about yeah. gag my throat, sit on my sit on my face, choke me, squeeze. What the fuck, woman of the year? Fire. No, that's who our women should I, fucking reflect is Cardi Cardi B. See her in the pitch. See, like, are you kidding? Are you female rap artist? Out of here, man. Y'all you know I mean? lost it. If you think Cardi B, yeah, 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 female rap artist, but Time Magazine. Put her on like, or somebody like, put her on the front as woman of the year. She made it's it like, clear bruh, that the dice bruh, game that was you want over. Your daughter with. to become all right, Migos. Huh? I don't know. Huh? Like Quavo your, not lost huh? his money. The you dice want your game over. Like, you want your daughter to be like piss on my A chest? It's just huh? entertainment. Fuck out of here, man. It's entertainment. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with Cardi B. No, no, not I for young, not for young kids. Yeah. For adults, it's fine. About for fighting. adults, it's fine. But these well, young kids hear kid. it. But these young kids kid hear her. The year. The year. She, she's not that, bro. She say, "I don't." I'm gonna speak are on. You kidding me? So what, Michelle Obama? I ain't seen her do nothing this year. Cardi B been out here. Doing okay. It. That was a hot ass song. What song was that? Um, what's she talking about? Uh, Gag me though. That was a good yeah. song. Oh Mom. my god! Yo, you saw oh kids do that Lord. TikTok challenge of that song? Crazy. Aaron, you you know you're trying to set me up. Aaron's trying it's to set me up. It's because I feel like I right got now. to. I can't stand you, Doug. Oh, I was Aaron. there, right next to takeoff, bro. That that's not how I want my kids to act. Well, I hope not. You got you got boys. They wasn't arguing. <laughs> I... If I had a daughter, though, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I think no, a lot I, of... did, I like Cardi B though. I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying, but I no, think... I like her too. I don't dislike her. Cardi B, though? They do. As an adult, I don't dislike her as an adult I because I understand. I understand she does but some crazy kid, ass shit, but she really ain't for kids. But if I had yeah, a 15 year old, 14 year old daughter, she wasn't. She when she came out, model. she wasn't. You yeah. are. You know I mean, the parents are. Good facts. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. Cardi B just being entertainment for the adults in the club. She ain't supposed to be. This ain't for Nickelodeon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because your kids yeah. listen. Why you yeah. listen to me? Bro, you yeah, let them go to the movies yeah. and watch movies and people get shot and killed? Or having bang, bang. sex. You know what I mean? Yeah. You stop yeah. Your kid yeah, that's porn? true. Cardi B just, I mean, one of the year is kind of pushing it, though. Yeah, it. That's that's all I'm saying. Does she that's do anything just my other point. than make music? Like, this, like... I... I don't know, but I don't know if she hands turkeys out or if she does whatever. I don't fucking so know, but what I mean is... she do anything besides make music? <laughs> no. I don't know. Just a family. But one, woman of the year just for talking about her red bottoms. Like, fuck out of here, man. I could see female rap artists 
of the year or something. Of a year, not every year, but every yeah, year. Yeah, but... I heard the year for of sure. her peak, she was Not to be compared to other female who have gotten it not over the, the past years. Not the greatest of all time, woman. But she had definitely earned a year or two that she did this doing her thing more than everybody else. Because she had a hell of a run. She still... Yeah, could. she came up she quick. She can still drop a song right now and be top chart. Yeah. She, I mean, because she's know. still relevant. Yeah. It's so well, awesome how we still year. involve... Woman of the Year is... How we still involve... We still involved Drew. Drew's still here, even though he ain't. We still involved his cat. Hell yeah. We talk about what he would say or what he would do. We're like, yeah, Drew would do this in this situation. I don't know. He would probably be like, so I think probably we should learn to respect each other and just, you know, do this or that. No, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but Drew would come in with some some young knowledge. We miss we miss you, Drew. Drewski. We're about to go home and pass out. We gotta be up early to work on some drywall. Yeah. Yo, Aaron's off tomorrow. So oh he's shit. Gonna us, he's gonna help us carry that. Are you drywall. guys gonna? Are you guys? You need to watch some YouTube drywall videos, dog. Like yeah, you watch the this. framing, just yeah. like you watch the framing ones, though. Mm -hmm. Do it. Yeah, we got this. We got this. See, this is why we ain't video call his ass. So every time we put up, as soon as we start doing something, like, yo, did you do this? Yo, what are you doing right there? Yo, did you watch a video yo, on yo, how to do I that? Yo. Like, yo, Kev, let me do this. <laughs> I know, you're right, that's and like, I know. That's I'm like sorry. videoing your dad. Like, hey, dad, just stay on the phone with me. I mean, that's all right. You know, we, but we, now we... you get let him watch you and see what you're doing. Like, hell no. Nah. I mean, we lived and learned Aaron's... Uh... Yeah, we we definitely made some mistakes. Aaron's but we uh, cutting and measuring is not exactly on. Nobody point, ever taught me how to cut with a saw, bro. We figured well, he's learning. Do. Look, yeah. this cat will learn. He'll out. learn I it figured himself. it out, didn't we? We figured that shit out. I'm fuck. I'm like, yo, yeah, I, cut through, I, I cut through all hundred boards if I have to. Right. And figure and it out. Yeah, but you have to understand it's more than what you what you measured at first. It's more than what you, you have to understand. Yo, I gotta the, dig it better though. The cuts are a little better now. Yeah. You're learning. Well, because you're learning though, right? Smack in the place with the mallet. I got a big ass mallet or a big ass hammer. All the, you do, just smack all the the little extra pieces of wood that I, we thought we was gonna waste it. I found spots we for them. Found yeah, we found the use for them. Mm -hmm. Man, extra that's so support. awesome. That's dope, man. Yeah, Definitely that's dope. what I mean. You guys are learning together. You're actually yeah. learning something new. Yeah, today. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. we we put anchors into the floor going through the concrete to to, to Damn. Them into the floor. Yeah, I I did the holes with the drill. She followed behind me with the power drill and put the screw in. You know I mean? Oh, you had the impact. The I had, well, I had a wired, a wired yeah. John that was strong. And then she had the wireless John that I just put the screws in. You know what I'm saying? So no, but one of them shakes and one of them doesn't. One of them's like boom, 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 boom. Oh no, 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 that's a punch um, thing. Now we didn't use that. I literally just use a regular uh, heavy duty drill. The drill. The one you got to plug into the wall because it's stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah, that concrete drill that I have, like, will pound into the fucking ground. This shit's oh, crazy. No, no, we just putting a hole into the concrete. I got, I came a with a special tiny bit. Hole, yeah. Go right into the concrete. You just drill a hole, and yeen, then you take that. Screw. I thought I, I thought I needed to use it just to, just to get into the concrete to hang my TV. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I put it on hammer, so it hammered through. You did YouTube, and then I and then I drilled it. <laughs> no, I just drilled. No, well, I went and bought sit it. There and preach to us about YouTube, watching a video on because, YouTube. Because because I didn't do it first. No, because oh, I didn't okay. do it first, and you know what I mean. So next like, time you're definitely gonna do that first. Make sure you YouTube. Yeah. Absolutely, That's absolutely. Look, like, one time, Eric. YouTube saved our life one time. I'm telling you, look, I I saved so much money like working on my car or like fixing things around. The house or the apartment or whatever by watching the YouTube video, mm -hmm. yeah. And realizing how Real simple, shit. Like, how easy that yeah. is. Yeah. YouTube is everything, man. It saved our it life one time. That that dude that sent you, he does. He has twelve different videos on drywall. That's all step one through twelve to watch. And he's like, he's Aaron, remember, detailed. remember when we were stuck in West Virginia? Yeah. Remember when we were stuck in West Virginia and you looked up YouTube video and got us unstuck? I can't remember. I was high. We were so drunk Bro, that weekend. But we were late for the airport, and his car wouldn't go into drive. Oh, yeah, and I did. I figured it out real quick off YouTube. We found off of YouTube. Yo, know, I yeah. still got the tool that we used, and you left it there because I needed it to drive home with. Was that was the titanium. dab stick. That's what we used the dab. I still yeah. have it today. That was my dab stick back then. Give it back and this fool looked up YouTube and then popped his shit in the gear and we got to the airport. 
I still I was still late and I still had to stay overnight in a hotel. But at least you got to the airport but, though. But hell yeah. At least y'all got and there. the cops pulled his ass over as soon as we got there. Mm-hmm. As because soon as we pulled in the airport, the cops pulled us over. You're lying. They were trying to say my, my this shit, shit was, was I was stressing. I was late for my flight. They were like, You're not making this flight. I was crying in the middle of the airport like a bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what the fuck, man? It wasn't because he was late. because he missed me already. He was oh, I was... No, no. You don't realize how much we drank that week. Yeah, we boy, drank a lot. I can imagine. There was so much. We were in the middle of my family's holler in West Virginia, and they had all kinds of shit. And it that was... been fun, though. We were, look, we were playing softball, and on second base, there was a fucking whole thing of beer and if you got the second base you got to grab a beer like it was crazy i never got the beer remember that shit yeah i suck at you remember that I realized, yeah i realized how out of shape i was that day at a game it was horrible <laughs> i couldn't kick the ball very good i couldn't run my pants were saggy i think we were playing wiffle right ball now, my knees were probably... it was a wiffle ball yeah we were playing wiffle fun. ball but if you got the second base you got a beer and the whole thing was full of ice and beer at second base. So that was that like the goal so for weird. everybody. Yeah. And we were in the middle of a farm in West Virginia. All this field, all it was beautiful. Mountains around us, man. It was great. Did you have a hot Aaron, time? that week was oh, nope. I we did not. That bitch, I wouldn't have had fun though. You don't like I love hot We tub. went swimming though. We went swimming in the river though. Remember that, Aaron? We went swimming down there. Yeah, pardon from the hot tub. Yeah, that'd be dope. If you get one for your anniversary, that'd be dope. Put one on the back, out back. See, I suggested it yesterday when we was walking back through there. I was like, you need a hot tub right there. <laughs> yeah, I got this patio thing in my backyard connected to my garage. And you could always build. Or something on top. Yep. Booyah. Do it. That would be fire. Do it. Like in, now that I know enclo- how to do this yeah. shit, huh? We can enclose that shit in the weekend. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you're, you guys are carpenters. Yeah, you guys yeah. are carpenters like Jesus at this motherfucker. You guys are carpenters. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Fuck yes. around. Fuck around. Fuck around. Build your platform. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Build your platform to put your... So it's level. So you put your uh, hot tub on level ground. You know what I mean? I was going to throw it on the rocks. No. <laughs> you got to build a little platform. In case something goes wrong, well, no, you don't want it just already, leaking right there. No, you just look, well, you know, you just frame, down. but just like frame a it. A little deck, like a little three-inch deck. Yeah, just frame it and go get some concrete and put concrete in there. You just put two by fours around, frame it, nail it together. Well, it's, and it's you already put your concrete it's, so down, it's level, so, so everything stays up. level forever because ground moves. You can't just throw it down. There's already layered. There's already a patio there. Oh, you're good. Made out of bricks, then. You're good. Brick city. Yeah, man. I, I wanted always to, but I don't own my house, so I always shit. rent, you right? So I don't, no, I'm not. Hell yeah, the inflatable is only like two, three hundred dollars. All right. For real, I'll get one. I was thinking about getting one and putting it right into my living room because I got a That's big cool. ass living room. It's like, <laughs> no, you, your, right your house can't room. handle the moisture. The moisture I'm on your joking. ceiling would be, yeah. yeah, no. I'm joking. That would be. You would have to have so many exhaust fans to get the condensation out. Thanks. That's why you want uh, hot tubs to be outside. Like the some of my funnest memories are being in West Virginia and the snow, the snow falling, and you're in a hot tub. Like when the snow's falling. No, he has a real one. When the snow, when it's snowing. When it's snowing and you're in a hot tub, there's nothing like it. Oh, I know. Nothing like it. My friend, you know what I mean, like. And we used to go to the house. It's amazing. And get out there in the snow. You just got, and you just got some Hennessy or some Moscato or something sweet, something nice. You know what I mean? And nice you're just something chilling. Something good to Yeah, smell. man. It's so nice. You got to get a big one. But the, you got to get one of them, like them 10 persons tub like that you could like swim in. There. Hell yeah. yeah, but it's like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning and the snow is just falling and ain't nobody else around. It's all quiet. That shit is beautiful. Yeah, that shit's I'll give you gorgeous. A hundred, but I'm allowed to come in the hot tub whenever I want. Oh, shit, gonna, gonna mm-hmm. I'm gonna call Aaron and be like, "I'm using the hot tub for like 20 minutes." Sometimes I like 20 minutes. You gotta be in there for a minute. 
Well, no. Like, like a lot bubble. of times, I mean, I just want to, you know, just sit in there and just relax uh, just for a couple minutes. Like, take a little nap. Put a TV right there inside the wall behind the glass. It's definitely therapeutic, man. It feels so good. Look, we're going to fuck around and build a nice big enclosed porch oh, sure. around the hot tub. And then we're gonna submit. look. We're gonna fuck around. We're gonna fuck around and have an empire soon. Yeah, we are. All this this is my we're gonna fuck around. It's my last year in this tax bracket. I already told myself that. No, you don't want to move up. Moving Trust me. Up. I mean, I'm gonna move drastically up. Not just like from my job. I'm talking about like I'm, mm. I'm gonna make more money. Outside this of shit my hurts. Life. This shit hurts, dog. Like yeah. I used to get returns. Now I owe. Yeah. And now I gotta do a ten ninety nine too. No, I used to get returns. Now I owe every year. I, I don't want to move up. Don't I don't want to move up home. anymore. I don't get no tax return. State wise, state wise, I get returns. State wise, but not that's federally. Why I, that's why I'd be laughing. Like I want to make a post. Like people be saying, like how they be getting with girls from tax returns. Like you know, you don't want to get with me because I got a ten fucking ten ninety nine. <laughs> oh, because you don't pay taxes all year, do you? No. Oh damn, no. that's why. If you did pay taxes, you should probably get a return now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I get a return. But I got a well, very small, much, but I'll small take it. business I owner kid. is what I got to claim. Kid, so I got little, little ducats. Got like three bands. That's good. Small business owner, the LLC. Well, I'm, I'm yeah, that's what to... I have to claim on my 1099. Should we create an LLC for the break room? We should. I think we should. Get a company car. I think we should. It is only a couple I think hundred dollars owner, to get your LLC. We'll get ownership, owner, ownership is everything. Each other. Be no, ownership is everything. Yeah. Right? The owner's nuts. And, <laughs> yo, I can't stand you. No. <laughs> can't bend me either, motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers. Can <clears throat> uh, I hear a joke? <laughs> yeah. You were born. I'll tell you a joke. Uh, okay. That's not <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. That shit is so dumb. No old. <laughs> All right, go ahead tell me a good one, though. You probably got a real good one. He's thinking. I think he found uh, So everybody dies, and we all go to heaven. Everybody's standing at the gate talking to St. Pete, like, can I get in? And St. Pete is like, I want every man that listened to his wife to get in one line. And I want every man that did not listen to his wife to get into another line. And the line that listen to their wife, as long as the eye can see, right? You can, it's forever. Everybody listen to their wives. And then the line that did not obey their wives, there's one lonely man standing there. And St. Pete looks down at him. He says, son, what the fuck are you doing? He said, I don't know. She just told me to come stand over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was a good one. I don't know. That was off top, man. That was a good one. I was confused for a second. I was like, yo, this is going on forever. I think you're trying to preach to me, Loki. <laughs> but no. That was, that, was was that was a good one at the end. She just told me to come stand over here. You got a joke? I ain't got none right now. That's cool. <laughs> man, there's so many jokes that so many I'll, dirty I'll men have told me. I'll have some jokes for us for next time. Oh, yeah? I'll get on my, um, all week at work, I'll get on my, uh, yeah, I'll get on my shit. I'll look up some shit. I was not prepared at all. So we either going to yeah. have a roast session at the end, or we're going to have a, a freestyle oh. session. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll drop bars on your asses. Let's do it. <laughs> Come on, Eminem. Oh, right yeah, now? right. Yeah, drop that oh, shit. Unwritten. Mm. Just spitting. No, no, it's not going to be that. <laughs> it has to be precise. Don't be the judge. It's going to be... Okay. It's going to be angels ain't calling. Devils leaving messages. So that I check them or forget them, I can't call it. You see, I'm wise and undaunted. Because of compromise and agreement where both parties got when neither of them wanted that's basic economics. Stop gun cocking. You do what you always done, you're going to get what you always gotten. For me, reaching that goal is the only option. The ones you see sitting, they're not doing but talking. 
Don't be alarmed when you reach out your hand and lose an arm limb, loss when draw. Tell me it's impossible while I dribble footballs. In these times, you lost wealth, you lost nothing. You lost health, you lost something. You lost character, stop bluffing. Like you didn't see the day coming. Pause. It's duck goose, follow the leader, then leapfrog. You want to find trust where I'm from? Sharon, you better off to buy a dog. Damn, I'm on fire, dog. Yo, you you crazy. You're crazy. You you can't spit like that if your life depended on it. You can't spit like that if your life depended on it. Hold on, hold on. Let's get an outside perspective. Cole, how do you feel? One out of ten. How was it? Hard or not? Six. Ooh. Seven. That's hot. That is hot. Anything above a two is good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. Nah, I can't. I mean, I can't do this. I, so I mean, I like can't. That. I didn't even pretend. I'm not a rock. Heat into your college dorm, and I'm hot like napalm. You can check the temperature. Boy, I'm safe when I slide back home. How you expect me to come here when I've been long gone? I am a foreign fly. You don't know what shit I'm on. You just know I unibomb. They ain't real unicorn. I am Kev, and I'm sworn. Fuck out of here. What is that like? Um... That one was like a... They ain't real unicorn. They ain't fucking real unicorn. I am Kev, and I'm sworn, motherfucker. Is this like poetry, this flow? I'm trying to understand what it is. You know what I mean? Is it like... Yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's more lyrics it's than it is. Down. There's no beat. Yeah. Your mind be racing and you be writing shit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just be... be like, the cat chased a dog. He was a rough dog living life over the hill. Three kibbles, he's done. Okay. Trying to spill right. his water right. dish. This shit. Okay, sick. now you're just Wipe being stupid. Sick shit now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> now you're just being stupid. Uh, I was just fucking around. But look, have you ever could have had it all? Um, my Go wife, ahead. or um, what's that movie called with uh, Mike Myers, where his wife he married an axe murder. My wife was an axe murder. You ever seen that movie? Oh yeah. Remember oh that yeah. Poetry he spit. That's what it reminds me of. It was like that's funny. What is what is that? That's that was fire though. But he he did, he said that's totally funny. different shit though. You know what I mean, but that's what acapella rap sounds like. But it's acapella. You didn't drop a beat. You didn't do shit. Like I had to do that. Uh, 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 no 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 no. I don't want your mouth, Doug. Uh, uh, I can't bust. I can't put a beat on here because it get flagged. Okay, so it's your turn now. It's your turn to drop some shit. Okay okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Bust me a beat. No, no, I don't. I'm not spitting nothing from my. I did it a cappella. You do it a cappella, like you were talking about. You're so fucking. You're a rapper, right? Nah, I never said Cause that. Because you, because, because you could have had it all, but you had to put roll. Damn near lost control trying to play that role. Can't get away from the demons of my soul. The meaning of my flow is the reason that I know I'm a diamond in the cold from rhyming in the cold from hot summer blocks where the beat gets told. Secrets get old. Little boys get shot. Baby girls get grown. Mama's all alone. Three kids in her home paying bills on her own. Give was gone, but see reap what it's sown when them lights ain't on and they cutting off a Rome. Reap out of Rome, it's not a slick song. This is speech from the dome and it speaks from the heart when it's been long, far too long. Comes on my soul, you can hear it in my palms when my verses are a prize. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> fuck with me, dog. Okay. Don't fuck with me. That, that one was better. Yeah, that was doper. That was yeah, doper. Yeah, that was better. That was definitely doper. Hey, see, because you said stuff there. You wasn't talking about unicorns or... Like, uh, no, but I don't like, being like, on flags on, in man. different countries. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I don't like yeah, metaphors. I like, I like when you talk about normal stuff. And what you used to is a ritual lies, and I'm a lord of the flies, according to these guys, and it's listed it about the rap and all about the drive. Fuck out of here. Yeah, see, everything you just said right now meant nothing. <laughs> that other one you did, though, was hard. See, that the, the flies bullshit, the dragons, get rid of that shit. Talk about life. Talk about me. Talk about what I'm wearing. Talk about... My cat, because he smells like ass all the time. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's cooler than than talking about like 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 forms over my like, eyes. My soul lies. Look, but obviously, you know, I, I fart in a glass. You now I fog my eyes or something. Yo, you know I mean like, <laughs> yo, you glass, don't. You don't even rap. Yo, you talking <laughs> and you don't even rap, dog. I'm about to listen to rap. But you don't rap. You I, haven't rapped yet, and I've spit a couple bars, and you're still barless. You ain't gonna hear nothing from me. I ain't got nothing. I ain't even gonna pretend. You know what I mean? I ain't never. I'm trying my hardest. Just, like, I'm trying my hardest to impress. I'm impress y'all. 
Is you? Uh, no, I'm just trying my you hardest trying, to bro. impress y'all. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to impress y'all. And what I'm saying is, is I understand rap, and it, you're you were saying like, let's rap. Like, if you want to rap, let's fucking rap. You know what I mean? I was talking I about simple flows. I wasn't talking about Nas flows. Cause I mean, we just rapping no, and having fun, I, freestyling for an art form. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. I mean, yeah, I know. Look at your cat. Here we go. Barely matches your mustache. <laughs> oh. Teeth is the same your color mustache. as your skin. Uh, yo. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just telling me that corny shit is what I'm. You know what I mean? Look at Cole. I don't even know. <laughs> Look, I've been doing not okay, and you might thought I lost my way. Bars. I just bought a brand new K to spray at rappers, burns who play, and haters gonna learn today. I'm gonna take your spot, just wait. Obviously, he not for play. I can see that that they all for pay and dress real gay, express you may. <laughs> but concede then, lest you say direct this hate, cause won't look then up on my plate in my city where the ladies, where the lions lay and ladies lie. Watch babies die, watch mamas cry at the casket side, and these cats get by by making rhymes and doing time. So caution. You should exercise. Respect this grind. I'm the best, no lie. When the rest just try, commit yourself to suicide. These electric lines, see the exit signs. Fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. Drop Bars. the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. I mean, hit that one. Who is it? It's Kev. No, it's not. It's Bleach, bitch. He's back. Oh, no. Shit. Fuck it. No, but you you pulled you pulled that shit out. Of <laughs> Look, and I don't I, I'm not a rapper, dog. I'm a fucking insurance adjuster. <laughs> Bring that shit back. We got it. <laughs> Cole, you can't freestyle at all. Fuck no. I'm shy. I can't rhyme. Not at all. I never even Man, tried. I got like I was just saying, like I, I never stoned. even sat there. I never even sat there and just went in my head and like tried to even make up anything. About to take this little E pill. Ah, no, I'm joking. I'm <laughs> no, I just really like rap. I really like it. I like that shit. <laughs> my bad. I'm done with the sound effects. I turned them on though. All right. Um, damn, we popped for like three and a half, four hours. Oh. Yeah, I thank everybody for watching. I thank everybody who's involved. Yes. Everybody's working hard and sweating every Just day. We're t we're tired. What up, Drew? Yeah, yeah. We're kind of zombies up here right now. Yeah, I'm just holding I know. Together to I'm pretty to tired talk. right now. Are we golden? We'll be back on it tomorrow. Yeah, man. We love everybody who loves us. You know what I mean? This is the break room. It's your boy DJ. A. We got Coley Cole, Sleepy Cole. Cold world. We got you know Cold World. Then we got your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pro Form. Eater in the motherfucking building. And y'all mm -hmm. know what it is. This is the motherfucking break room. Yes, sir. Tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your baby mama's daddy. Tell, them all tell your pets. That tell your pets. Be on. Give us another couple weeks your, when we get the new studio. Tell your goldfish. Shit is gonna be off the chain. We're gonna have everybody and their mom and this bitch trying to sing, okay? Because we're gonna have tell your labradoodle. You know, what I mean? we're gonna have special guests on the pod. You know what I'm saying we can have. It's just gonna be doper, better. The Got the new and approved lineup. break room podcast coming straight for that ass. Tell everybody. Tell your labradoodle. And we out.